Milk. Crate. Marauder. Don't know where I'm going when I go there. He doesn't say, come on, I'm going to talk about apples or pears. I never knew the subject matter. Unless he would say, hey, Pat, uh, how much matter? She said, fuck him, I'll come down and we'll argue. So, but it was good radio. Because I'm never stuck for words. I'm never stuck for words. It comes natural. Pat is a genius. Yeah, he really is. He's a brilliant, brilliant guy. But to the point that he, he's self-destructive. But, you know, for a self-destructive guy, he's done show business his way, and he's always made a living, and, uh, you know, he's okay, and he's welcome on my show anytime. Pat Cooper, I loved listening to it on the Stern Show, because what made it so hysterically funny was that it was all true. I mean, he's out of his mind, and he's filled with so much venom, and, like, his family would call in, his mother and his daughter, and he'd be cursing them out on the air. Because I know uh, Pat Cooper, and I know he's he's nuts, so, and he hates people. I remember standing with Pat Cooper one time at an event, I think it was the Friars Club, and um, from across the room, John Lovitz walked in. And, you know, I met him, perfectly nice guy, everything, but leave it to Pat Cooper, and he's he sees him, and he yells at me, he goes, Oh, there's John Lovitz! Guy's got the personality of my cock. <laughs> Pat is one of those guys that is, um, he's like a, a hand grenade, you know, with the pin is always out, but it never reaches the 10 seconds. I mean, it's just like he's just about to blow and he, you know, he's always venting. And the stuff he did with his family on, on Howard was a most amazing, priceless, wild, bizarre radio. I don't think Pat was none too thrilled with all these people. And, you know, it's like, I think when you saw the drama unravel, you began to see why Pat and his family weren't getting along. It was truly dysfunctional shit at its finest. You know, it's like, we all have family feuds, but most people will probably not have the courage to say bad things about their mother or their son or whatever on the air for the risk of looking, I don't know, less than uh, than human <laughs> but you know what pat let it all hang out and it's all to his credit who is this uh you have pat's son on 260 yeah I think no so. all, right. all right we got pat cooper's son go oh ahead. my goodness all right now just relax pat i'm not go ahead oh, this is a very no. exciting moment go ahead. all right go ahead. now you say you're pat's son yes i am I recognize his voice. That's him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is your son. Hello, Mike. Hi, Dad. How are you? Okay. All right. Now, wait a second. This is a big moment. Now, you gotta ask you, I want you to been? answer the questions of what of what Howard Stein's going to ask you, Mike. Okay. Right. And, be, right. and listen to me. Yeah. You be honest, and what's ever on your mind, you say. Okay. And you're not offending me, because I respect your right to say what you want to say. All right. Okay? Yes. What went wrong between you and your father? Why are you not talking? Know. I don't know why other divorced people have divorced parents and they talk together and the fathers still bother with their kids and they're close with their children. Whatever happened between me and my father seemed to happen between my father and the rest of the family also. I can't understand what happened with the relationship between my father and I. I never really knew my father, even growing up. Now, if that was a result uh, 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 of my mother and his problem, Mike, that might Mike, have been. Mike, didn't you ask your mother, how, why is my father so bad? Don't you ask questions? Yeah, but Say, it, why are you, yes, why are you put, hold on a minute, Mike, and I'll give you a chance to talk. Okay. Why are you putting my father in the toilet, Ma? Let me make my own decisions. I'm an adult now. And I don't dislove you, mother. I love you dearly. But I must let this man know that he's not wrong, ma. And if he's my father and I'm proud of him, I want everybody to know it. Because my father became successful with only two weeks high school, mother. How bad can this man be? And again, I love you, ma. But you got to explain this to me, ma. Why? Why didn't you teach us a little better? So what do you say? You someone's disrespectful to you? What? You, say, well, no, you ask the question. I, 13, right. your mother says I'm a bum. 14, I'm a bum. Now you become, you start to shave. Right. Now you start to say, why is this man a bum? He's never, what did he do to hurt me? Right. So if I send your mother $40, that's what the judge told me to send So maybe, you, you know. But maybe but, he's afraid to ask you. Now, you don't be afraid of a man. I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to shoot him. I say, I want to bring my father here. I want to know. Yeah. I want to know that there's two sides of his story. Hey, if I'm wrong. I have a right to defend myself. Like I gave my son today a right. I says, hey, my kid's got a right to defend himself. Right. And I want him to tell the truth. If they think I'm a skunk, I want to hear them say it. Then I say, okay, if I'm a skunk, tell me why I'm a skunk. So why is he okay. a skunk? This is the thing. When you're younger, if... Cop out, cop out. Mother, okay, let me just say, let me talk now. Now it's my turn, right? Yeah. 
if your mother or your family has an influence on you when you're eight and nine years old, all right, maybe they did. I don't agree with him saying that they constantly called him a skunk. Yeah, they were aggressive. I heard bad, uh, bad stories on both ends. But when I got older, when I was 15 and 16 years old, then it was up to me to see and to decide where the aggression, where it came from, and what's going on. Mm -hmm. Is he really a bad guy? I should get to know my father. I should go there. I should see. I should be around him. I want to get to know my father. Sure. I don't know who my father is. So what was ever said, I went around to find out about my father. And like every kid at 13 or 14, Daddy, get me this. Daddy, I would like this. Daddy, I would like that. I was a kid then. I always asked my father for things. I wanted to get something from my father that I could say my dad gave me, or affection, anything. My father made his own impression when I became 15 and 16 on me. Not what my mother said or what my grandmother said or what my aunt said. I'm a 32-year-old man now. I don't have to listen to anything that they say. They don't have any influence on me. It's up to me. It's if they had no influence on you, Mike... I can't get close to my father if the world depended on it. No. Because of my father. Right. Period. That's what I didn't seem to understand. Mm. Yeah, when he came around, I asked him for a few things. But you show me any other son who never did. Well, this is kind of sad. You know what it is? Sometimes the it kid is... is, the is well, that's kid the thing is, about it now. It is sad. They, we're both two men now. We're no more, you know, kid, I'm not a kid anymore. And you know what it is? You know what it is? You see how I'm looking at it? They got their juice out of the orange already. Right. Now I'm 32. I'm a man. Let's forget about that. And let's forget that you have feelings and that you are hurt. Let's forget about it. Start new. But a kid uh, is but a victim. But wait a minute. A kid is a kid. I understand. But a kid's a victim. Robin, you know Robin, what I mean? I feel like Oprah. Hurt. I feel like Oprah, Pat. You know? I'm Pat's upset about what happened to him. You got to understand that he went through a bad deal there. Yeah. See, Pat and hurt. unfortunately, you were... A victim of circumstance. I'm hurt That's because right. people come to me that know them and say, how can you be so bad to these kids? They're so good. As I'm not saying they're not good, right. but why am I the bad guy? I'll go and do a show at some damn club or something. I'll always get somebody that says, you know, I live next door to your, your, your ex-wife. I live next door to your, your mother or your father or your sister. And all they got to do is say nothing but nice about you. So wait a minute. What but am I see, doing? You see that, Robin? But what does that have to do with me? Nothing. That's a lot to do with you because nothing. you stand there, Mike. How do I know this Mike, is going on? Mike, Mike, you make a decision, and you tell these people, whether you hang out with them or not, they're still your family, and you tell your mother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, or whoever, back off. Don't you embarrass my father, and if you don't like it, he's my father. How do you Kiss know my rut. Kiss How my do you butt. Know I don't say that? Because I know you're not the How kind of guy know? to do that. Because you, you go which way the wind shifts. You don't know what kind of guy I am because you haven't been around for 32 years. That's you don't know point. who I am. I haven't been around for 32 you years? You don't know who I am. Mike, I've you been in your company many times. Yes, I know who you are, Mike. No, you don't know who I am. I absolutely do. Well, how do I get you guys on the right track? How do I get you guys on the right track? That's the problem. He doesn't know who I am. He thinks he knows who I am. I'm a changed human being. I change every day. You change every day. I'm not the same person that he thinks I was when I was 14 years old. I don't care what they think about my father. It's what I think about my father, not what they think about him. So you like him, though, right? I don't dislike him. I never disliked him. But he it never sounds like neither one of them knows the other. So, Pat, how do I resolve this? I get you guys no, I together? Just, I just see, I, Let's introduce them, Hi. All right, let me introduce them. See, I think your dad's great. Uh-huh. He's I like a lot him. of fun. He's a lot of fun. Uh-huh. Now you're 32, you guys can party together. Uh-huh. You got to forget all that other stuff. Too, never you got to drop all the... Zero. Here's what happened. You know what it is? In a divorce, the mother always bad raps the father. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Tell my father. I don't think he realizes that. I then, do realize that. I get, said that earlier. And then as a kid, you get scared. You get poisoned. Right. You, start to you already have a broken family. If you don't side with your mother, maybe you get put out. It sounds like your son's a very nice guy. And he doesn't I'm not look saying like, he's not a nice guy. He's not guy. looking for a handout. Any, I, I, you know? But you see, that was the way it was all the time. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Now, let me tell you something. That I'm the, the easiest guy to give, to, give money away. Right. I love to give money away. But I don't like to be made a fool out of them. Right. I don't like to give them a price of money, and then they walk away. Sorry, what else is new? Right. Yeah. There's got to be some substance In other there. words, when you were sending the money, the kids were getting older. They could have thanked you. But or... it's never enough. But you know it's what teenagers enough. are like, it's never Robert. Enough. Yeah, but as a kid, if you saw you could get money, you'd always want to get That's money. That's right. And I teenagers mean, I'm a, are always going to make you feel bad. If I was in a gutter, which I was the close to the gutter, I never would call my father money. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. When I was a kid, that was important to me. It doesn't matter to me now. All I need is time, affection, you know, a little relationship with him. He wants a kind okay. word. He wants he wants That's a relationship. I want, no, no. I, I, I want to know what I've done to any of you. Well, that just treat me like I, a second-class okay. citizen. I don't yeah. know what happened when I was... When, you know, when well, but, but, but you're 32 years old. Don't you ask questions? 
It's still your family. Your I mother's still your mother. I your grandmother's still your grandmother. I don't you ask questions? Don't you go over your grandmother and grandma? Why do you abuse your own son? Your only son? What is wrong with you? Well, I figured that's for you and her to figure out. That's your mother. Now, what would it take for him to get back in your good graces? I don't know, Howard. I don't think my... we're at that point in no, the no, negotiations. No, no. Robin, Robin, <laughs> he's not in my bad graces. There's no bad graces. You know what I mean. Here. You're not feeling good I about just, it. I, I don't feel good about it. I'm sure he don't feel good about it. See? No. You know what it was? As long as things were good at that time, we don't have to call my father. We don't become addicts. Once you're on your own and your mother ain't going to help you anymore, let me go to my father. Right. Now I become the other side. Now you don't want to talk to his mother, maybe. Now I become the father. Yeah, but not everybody's a good diplomat. You I know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, but do you love your son, Pat? I love, absolutely. You do love well, your son. Then say That's that, that to him. Yeah, you say you love him. I love him, but I don't like him. Oh, oh boy. Don't leave that one out. Oh, <laughs> no, but, I'm, but, but no, no, I think you know what I'm saying, Robert. Yeah, I know what right. you're saying. All right? That's the point. I tell him I love him. I love him. Say, no, Mike, I, I love you. you. Mike, I love you. This is Mike, I be... love you. Well, I have never heard that before. All right, so maybe you may never hear it again. Well, look at the answer. He just gave me some. I don't know if I'm going to hear that before. Look, all of a sudden now, he wants me to get on my knees and kiss his ass. I ain't going to do it. Right. Uh, I don't God. give a damn who he is. Right. For what? You For know what? Time. There's no honest feeling from that side. All right, but wait a second. Yeah. See, what happens here is he doesn't know how to accept love, Pat. Oh, okay. okay. See, you say, I love you, and Mike doesn't know what to do. Who are you, Donahue? Mike, you now have to turn to your father. Do you love your father? I do love my father. Hey. Why could you know. say, oh, I Daddy, know. I love you, too? I love my father, but I don't know my father. Listen, whenever your mother said it, I defended you. I said, don't ever knock your mother. I don't like it. It's not right. right. But your mother never said that right. to you. Your mother said he's a bum, and you never defended your father. Whether you were 18, 17, 14, 13. I know. You know what I did. Oh, I know. You Mike, know Mike, I Mike, did. I get people come over to me when I'm oh, working and tell me, man. I hear oh, stories. I want to throw up. Oh, come All right. on. People talking? They don't live in my house. They don't yeah, know what I, I say. Mike, 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 Mike. Sounds like a good kid. I'm nah, not saying he's a bad guy. They don't know right. what I say. I'm not Howard, saying he's he a He doesn't bad. know what I say because he doesn't really know me. He only goes by what other That's people say. That's the cop out. He don't know me. No. It would be nice if they got to know me. I think they'd like to have a dinner together. How about a dinner tonight? I'm me. I'm me. I'm always in New York all the time. I tried to get to his apartment last time and he told me. People told me not to come by. Oh, okay. wait, 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 wait. wait a second. Oh, that's that a lie. Is being made. That's a lie. Well, they told that's me a lie. I don't care what they told me. I'm going to tell you. No, no, back off. I'm going to tell you what happened. The people that I, that went to your place where you sell the flowers, they put two cents into something that didn't belong to them. And they True. told you where I live. True. And I told them, wait a minute. True. I told them to mind your business and keep out of my personal life. So when you came by, they opened the window and saw you. And what did they say? Your father said, he's not in. Or your father's not in. They knew I was in because you know why? They told me two days later that they told you. So don't tell me that I brushed you. Now listen to me. This is terrible because I love, I love Pat. <laughs> and this son sounds very nice. Yeah, very nice boy. You know what it is, Pat? Yeah. I don't think that you guys can get together because... You... So much water under the bridge. But it seems to me, they'll let bygones be bygones. Eh, maybe the kid screwed up a little. Maybe you screwed up a what little. What did I say an hour ago? I said, I think I'm a fair man. I said, hey. Says you're not a skunk. I, or no, he... but I'm saying, I'm, I, I said to you, if they want to come on here and talk this and talk that and talk this and talk that, fine. Has they he got a right to defend the... No. He hasn't gotten uh, no, you. not even close. What does he have to say? What, what, he don't have to say nothing. I just say, like you say, forget about it. There's no sense of rehashing old eggs. You got your beaten. Shut up. Now we start off fresh. <laughs> the scars are gone, Pat. You got your beaten. We beat the day that's out of you. Now it's a new life. I'm 32. Now we'll wipe your scars. How do you get rid of when you're in a, when you're in a room for $8 a week and nobody cared about you and nobody called you? Your mother, your father, nobody gave a damn. Your sisters who's telling you, I love Jesus Christ. He's my savior. Why, what Jesus do you know? The guy I knew was a hell of a nice guy. In other words, if you had received a letter, even in those Nothing, they can't die, you animal, but you gotta pay my support, and you gotta give me my teeth fixed, my glasses fixed, I die. And the minute you made it big, you kill them, because they can't handle your success. Now they wanna be your friend, now they want your love. Mm -hmm. Now it's too late. That's why I, I haven't tried, because I get mm -hmm. to the same dead end every time I try. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you say, the hell with it, why bother trying anymore? How will it happen, though? I'll call him. You will call, call him? call me at, at the, uh, I at, said at I the, call uh, him. Florence, I'm you publicly, Manhattan. I call him, I keep my word. Alright, he's gonna call, Pat's gonna call you. I'll get in touch with you. He's gonna get in touch with you, I'm gonna see you guys back on track. It's going to be beautiful. But uh, I think progress has been made here. Uh, hopefully. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank absolutely. you very much. Thank it's good of you time. to call in. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye. Whew. Well, I'm glad <sighs> some families family. can get back together. Yeah. I fixed that. Well, <laughs> Pat's exhausted. Oh, boy. Oh, really? I, uh, it's never a dull show, is I'm it? I'm telling you. Gee, this is a, this is a series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Pat's daughter is on the phone? Oh I, my wait, God! Oh, here we oh, go. It's really Pat's daughter. Yeah. This is unbelievable, Pat. Yeah, unbelievable. This is this is radio at its best. At its best. Oh, forget it.
This is Pat's daughter. He hasn't talked to her in 12 years. Is my father there? Your father is here. He's with us on the air. Okay, I'd like to know what he'd have to say to me after uh, 12 years. Okay. I don't have nothing to say to you after 12 years. Well, I think uh, I have a lot to say after 12 years. But you can say anything you want, and I respect your right to say it. Okay, very good. Well, uh, I resent the fact that in your acts you make uh, demeaning statements towards my profession. I don't make demeaning statements against your profession. Because, okay. number, hold on, wait a minute. When I do comedy, I'm not doing you. I'm not doing my mother. I'm not doing my father. I am doing comedy. And if you take it personally, you got a problem. No, I don't have a problem with taking it personally. I feel that it's, it's a disgrace that you use your family to make your money. I you use my family to make... In other words, if Bill Cosby is a disgrace that he talks about his kids. No, so so Bill, Cosby, Bill Cosby... Cosby did a little bit more for his children than you did for your children. I did but, everything I was supposed to do, and I did it with a smile, and I did it well, and I've got nothing but proudness in my brain, and I am not guilty of anything wrong, and I will tell you one thing, I just feel bad because you blew a hell of a father. I blew a hell of a father. Yes, you were you never did. there for me. You're, no, Can you I know why? You, you know why, Can honey? Something? If yeah. you were my father, yeah. I paid for my whole college education. That's what you're supposed to do. That's right. You're supposed to, do. You're supposed to pay. Did your for... stepdaughter pay for her own college education? I doubt it very much. I don't have a stepdaughter. You constantly make ridicule of my profession. I don't make I ridicule of your profession well, to... because well, I'm not talking. No, no. I want to show you how 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 people think. They don't understand that you're doing comedy. Right. They so don't I understand. Well, I choose to do somebody else's comedy. And because it's none of your business what I do on that stage. That's my profession. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you don't have a daughter. I you don't want you. I don't want to have a daughter. You have never done anything. You I don't want. Oh, I've never done mother. nothing. I know. When I know. The last time you seen yeah. your mother. Okay. When she asked me for to, to pay the back rent that I didn't know. Now, is that a disgrace to do to your mother after how many years? I am a disgrace. Years? Oh, you know something? Years ago? You know something? For a school teacher, you have no common sense. For a grown man, you have no common sense. Ah, oh, you're wrong. This you're is, wrong. No, no, we're not wrong. It seems you're absolutely wrong, my dear, because because you don't understand. You don't, you don't understand that people don't live your life the way you want them to live it. We don't want to Yes, live you your do. Life. You want everything to be done the way you people want it, and it ain't going to happen. And don't tell me about my mother or about my father when you don't even know what you're talking about yes, and you're I out of order. Let me tell you another thing. Hold on a minute. I want to know where you come off, where you come off showing respect to someone who never hurt you, but you're turning around and you're brainwashed and your education by you telling me that I'm making a, I'm making a fool of your profession. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. $65 a week. That's what you That's did. what the court told me to give you if I'm making 90. If I'm making 90, love. You weren't making 90. I was making 90. It's documented. Don't, don't tell me. You know something? I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed I'll pay. of you. I'll pay for dinner. Oh, you should only dear. know half the stories that, that went on in our lives. Well, your we're life. We're fed up with this nonsense. No, you're you nonsense to say you're like fed up. Role. you got to understand one I'm thing. People got a right to defend themselves, my dear. Not only you got a right to defend yourself. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I... Yeah. You would not have to defend yourself if you were a right gentleman. Yeah. Oh, I'm you a gentleman's gentleman. Yourself. It's amazing. You're everybody everybody I deal with knows but me and knows that I'm a caring person, except the family. Life, you deserve yeah, your family. You guys aren't getting together here, are you? No, not at all. No, I don't possible. think we'll ever get together, but I just want the whole... Well, the world. No, 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 it's only how many states. This man is really a phony. I'm and a phony? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. As a joke. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Family. Now, look at the ego. He's talking about you know me and my profession. You're both, you're both hurt. That's I'm all. not hurt. No, I'm not hurt. Well, she's I'm not hurt. She's a genius. Right now. She, she's mad because she had to pay her own way to college. How many kids paid her own way to college? Millions of kids. But she wanted me to pay her way to college and not show you respect. And I not your you respect. Accept your responsibility as a father. That's hey, what my I responsibility as a father, accept I paid my responsibility. I owe you nothing. We you got it. You should have accepted your responsibility. Remember one no. thing, my you dear, my dear, my dear, I brought this subject matter up. So if you I had something to hide, I would have never put it in front of the American public. So don't con me with I'm your nonsense. You. you are you con you artist. You're a con artist, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself when you don't know nothing. Let's not say that. I'm very proud of where I have gotten today. God bless you. I wish you a million dollars. A minute. God I bless you. Degree. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks to you. And don't no, leave no pi and don't leave no pineapples at my door. I can do whatever I want. I have brought myself. I've overcome all of your obstacles. Now, my, no, you never had an obstacle. Today. You don't know what obstacles are. I'm very proud of where I am. Today. God bless you. I wish well, a does, billion dollars. Does Pat have uh, grandchildren from? No. no, no. How do you know you don't have grandchildren? I don't want no grandchildren. How do you know if I don't have a baby? I don't know, and I don't care. 
Well, so you don't care. You no, don't I don't care, care because to... I didn't care I, for the I, last I, 20 years. I was just curious. I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to what find out? Like to yeah. tell, what, would you, what, would you mean, like, what would you like me to tell your grandchildren about their grandfather? Tell them he was the classiest man that was ever on the face of this earth. And then my child would call me a liar. No, your child because would say to your mom, your child, your, first of all, your first of all, first of all, why do you drop them pineapples off at the house? Because off of my house. I, I wanted you to know that I knew... Where you were. So what? And I could find you if I ever wanted to find you. Well, oh, oh I see. It's a threat. Maybe, way, no, but maybe it was a, maybe no. it was like a peace offering. No. Peace, no. Offering. peace no. offering. She could. She wouldn't know peace offering. Maybe she was going to say, hey, here's a nice well, pineapple. I was on my honeymoon, okay? God it bless you. It wasn't a threat. It was a nice thought. I wanted really to good. tell you, look, yeah. I have overcome so many things in my life. Despite all of this, you have all this posh house, all this stuff. But let me tell you something. I have a family which loves me, which takes care of me. Your mother loves me. I have never... I never lost touch. I have the greatest grandmother in the whole entire world, well, and you're the one who's missing out on it. Let me tell you, honey, the honey, honey, family, my honey, honey, me. honey. My God bless you. God bless you. Me. Your sisters have always given to me. God bless you. Are the only because you're a taker. Because you're a taker. I'm not a you're taker. a taker. You a just went for ten minutes of who gave you? Who gives you? You're a taker. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And don't flatter yourself that I'm talking about you. God bless you. Listen, Luann, God bless you. I wish you the best in the world. Well, suddenly, Robin. You want to jump in here and straighten well, this all suddenly, out. Suddenly, Robin, uh, your family looks like a love network. <laughs> my family, let me tell you Pat, something. Pat, she might want my autograph my if you want to give it to her. I, I don't know. <laughs> You know, yes. I'm surprised my grandmother hasn't called up. We're waiting for that. Before yeah. you hang on another. No, my grandmother, my grandmother is, is very hurt over this whole situation. Your grandmother is not hurt over any situation because your grandmother is for your grandmother, and your grandmother never gave her, her son anything to talk about that's nice. And your father mailed her a check. Your father mailed her a check for five thousand dollars. Nice man, I am, eh? Where's the money? It's all you people know is where's the money. You don't know your mother. Goodbye. No, wait, there's got to be a way. Goodbye. Well, obviously, everybody's taking sides on this yeah. issue. Well, you know what, Robin? I did bring I did bring your brother and your father together, but uh, something. No. I wish for you a peaceful death. I wish for you a peaceful death too, honey. I wish for you a peaceful death. Money will not be your. I I, I agree with you. Money does not buy All right, so or health. So no, you know what no. we do. You stay your way, and I stay in my way, and well, that's the way I, it's going to be. Let me tell you something. I'd like. I do say I stayed in my way for seventeen years. You never gave me a damn thing. I never gave I you never nothing. Pat, you're you're got, I don't owe you nothing. I don't got to give you nothing. Luann, listen, I, I'm sorry. Look, how it's, I look, this is this is between us. I got this you. has been going on for for my whole life. Right. You know, it's ridiculous. I got you. I want people to know the true story, the true thing. Then tell it. And I, I then am tell telling it. the truth. Then tell No, you're I not. I'm telling the truth. No, you're not. You're, 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 you're not. Can I tell the truth? You left me in the hospital and I was too I left you. Who, 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 who told you I that? I was too weak. Who told you that? Me, who told you that? Who told you that? You the answer my question. Who told you that? Were you there for any one of my birthdays? No. Did you ever give me a birthday gift? No. No. Were you there for my confirmation, no. communion, and graduation? No. I was never there. Okay, thank you. Okay. You said you were never there. Yeah, that's because you see the way your mouth is, that's why I was never there. You were never that's there. That's why I was never there, because you just showed your character. All right. You were never there. Because you have no character. All right. But well, I was a child. Goodbye. I was a goodbye. child. Goodbye. You goodbye. were never there. Goodbye. Okay. Well, anyway, Look, listen. Okay, you know, goodbye. it's not to be soft. He's right. a very hostile gentleman. No, no, no. Hey, all right, all right. From now on, from now on, be well. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to talk. Talk, be Alex. well, be well. I you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All right. Talk. Okay, listen. Okay. So anyway, I want to listen, Luann. We better, we better cut it. Right? I cut it off. I okay, I understand too. All right. Oh, listen. Nice speaking with you. Nice speaking to you too. All right. I, I hope uh, everything goes well in your life. Me too. And I hope he sleeps well tonight because now everybody knows the true story. Uh, uh, well, we could drop the animosity. You said what you wanted to say. Don't wish your father ill. Go I live a happy Ill. life. I don't I wish him the best in life. I've never wished him ill. It was Ill. probably a misunderstanding. You know what it is? Probably your, your parents had a bad divorce, and I guess the kids you were... You got caught up in it. You got, you got you something? Yeah. How could I get caught up in it if I was two weeks old when we, they, they left? No, I'm they saying that the, the innocent ones I are always... Well, why don't you tell that to your mother? It's two it's a two-way street. I agree with you. What you Didn't cross me so Tell this to your mother for half an hour. When your ass jumped me on the street, tell that to your mother. A bunch of animals jumping on the street. You have nothing against us. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, everybody. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Robin. Happy birthday, Robin. Oh, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. All right, enough of this. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, like I took over the shot of me to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> do it again. Come back in another week. <laughs> <laughs> if you got more kids, let them call in next time. Uh oh, here's Gary. No, no. If what happened? Who is this now? Who's left? Pat's mother. That's it. Uh oh. oh no. no. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, 
Mom. Pat, do you want to talk to your mother? Put her on. Now, let's be calm Everybody about all this. Calm. Let's be calm. Yeah, he's a wreck. Hold it a second. Now, wait. <laughs> wait a second. How am I going to bring this family together? This is a mess. He is a mess. Can you believe a man talks about his mother and his family so much and made millions of dollars uh, on them, and then he quits and he don't want to bother? He hates them. They're all after his money. You never tell the truth. Can I tell you something, Howard? In your I whole should never, life. never have any... It would have been better have been if better. you stabbed so, me. See, now she wants you to stay. Now she wants to be the mother. Where was I didn't ask her to give me a loan, Ma. I need money from God your Ma. Help me. I didn't ask her, Ma. Look at this. God have mercy on him. Ma. I don't want nothing from God them. God have mercy on But I want to know one thing. See, they feel they got to get paid because you mentioned the word mother or father or sister or daughter. You have to pay them. Look what we made you successful, they telling you. Ma. They didn't help me in my career. They didn't care about my career. And I didn't care. That's okay. Ma. I made something of myself. Ma. And I speak well about my mother and father on the stage. I put words in because my father's mouth that he never... Oh, look, did you hear what she just said? Ma. Did you hear what she just said? Because I make money on them. On my life, on you make life, money. On life, I make money. You never turned a saint upside down in your life, mother. So don't con me. All right, well, don't I can con see I me. I wish she'd tell the truth once in a while. All right. I, 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 I have would. never, I have never lied, and I will not lie. Yes. And mother dear, mother dear, I wish you well. And may I say something? It's a shame, because I'm an only son. And what did I do? Did I kill you? Did I shoot you? Did I rob off you? I know did. people who turn around their sons, kill people. And they want to sit in the electric chair for their son. I never asked you to do that. And don't tell me I didn't go to my father's funeral. I didn't see my father for 12 years. Why don't you talk about that? Where was he when I needed my father? Exactly. There's your answer. So don't con me. And don't and say that I'm a bad guy. Oh, now you want me to forgive and forget. Yeah. You're not allowed. You're not allowed. I sent you the $5,000. Did you get your rent money? Oh, yeah. You oh, you got your $5,000 rent money. That wow. was on your mind. Now, where's my son? Help me. Let me help my son. He's all alone. He needs I me. Where's my back rent? Where's years. my back rent, you said? And I I sent you five grand, so don't con me about tell the oh, truth, mother. Yeah, right. I've never been nothing but a giver, mother. You're I never took nothing off you. Son. God help you. I wish you well. Five thousand for ten years of my life. All right. Okay. Oh, I owe you for being born now. Oh, I see what ten it is. Oh, I see. All right. You gave I'll up. send you a. How much I owe you, you for food? How much I owe you for food? How much I owe you for clothes? How dare you insult my intelligence, mother dear? How oh, dare come you? On, stop I'm ashamed of you that you even want money off anybody. You ought to be ashamed. I what are you going to do with your money? Take it with you? And I never will. So you ought to be ashamed a... of yourself. You're the one that worry about it. I don't oh. worry about it. I earned mine, my dear mother. I earned oh, it. And not so by you. No. So did I. Then keep it. I don't want yours. Keep it. Give it to your grandkids. They deserve it. Uh, oh, so okay. did I. All right, Rob. Right, right. Ten years Happy of your birthday. kids, I took care of. You're supposed to. You're a grandmother. You're supposed to. You're a grandmother. Oh, that's your. Chore in life. Everybody's supposed to. What about you? I've I done my thing. I did father. my duty. I did my Where duty. Where is your duty as a father? My and duty as a father a is not being bulldozed by oh. my kids oh, and not being conned by my kids. Take your daughter-in-law's side. Take your daughter-in-law's side. You don't like men. You never like men. Anything with pants, you can't handle. <laughs> Remember that. Anything with pants. Exactly. You're the man, the woman, and the family. Go to your daughters. Kiss right, your daughters. Right. You could cut the love in here with a machete, I'm Robin. And I must say... And you're going to need Need All right, Mr. Boone. He's Boodle. a type he is. Yeah. He All can't right. control himself. Goodbye, goodbye. All right. He Let's, loves trouble. What's your luck? I you thought love it was, trouble. I, yeah, I, you're the trouble, miss. You're the troublemaker. Yeah, goodbye. Well, I. what would you think if Pat dyed his hair black? Oh, never got to ask him. Well, okay. <laughs> you know something, Howard? <sighs> yes. This is the greatest thing that I've ever, ever happened to me. Really? Yeah. I didn't expect this day to happen like it was going to happen. For, for, for taking up all this valuable airtime. No. But I thank them. I thank them for calling. That's the end of that story. You ladies and gentlemen, Howard Stern fans, this will never happen again. Who did this? Uh -huh. When my mother came on the fucking air and I told my mother, you're full of shit, more or less words. How dare you insult me? And how dare you call me saying how you're back run? That's great radio. I told Howard, can you do something? He says, what? Make that an album. Make it a fucking album. I'll sign right away. That's fucking radio. That's honesty. Because everybody loves their mother. They still talk about it. I got guys who copied that thing. They say, Pat, I play it over and over. What fucking radio? You didn't even bat an eye. Because everybody expected to go, oh, gee, my, that, that, that. That's because she's full of shit. That's the problem. Not all mothers are great. Not all mothers are saints. There are a lot of mothers who are full of shit. There are a lot of mothers who hurt their children. So it happened on the Stern Show. It happened on the Stern Show. And you still play it, Howard. Uh -huh.
Yeah, well, we knew that we had to do something with that audio. So um, I don't know who came up with the idea. Probably Howard. I mean, like, usual. Or Fred. The three of them, Howard, Fred, and Jackie, I mean, were amazing team. Howard would throw an idea out, and Fred and Jackie would immediately throw a million things back at them. I mean, you know, to bounce off of them. So they, they were really quick and really geniuses, all three of them, to get stuff done that quickly and get it on the air. It was just amazing that they could come up with that material. You know, most people would sit around like, all right, Pat Cooper had a fight. It was funny on the air. It was great. And then maybe a couple of weeks later, you know what? Pat Cooper, all in the family, you know? This was done immediately. I mean, it was like, you know, let's do this. Let's get it turned around and get it on the air. Uh-huh. This is my new concept for a TV show. And I'm not kidding. I'm going to shop this. If you think I'm kidding, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why don't we do all in the Pat Cooper family here? <laughs> okay. Coming this fall, a brand new TV program. What do you get when you reunite an overly sensitive cat skill comedian? Because it's none of your business what I do on a stage. That's my profession. <laughs> A son he hasn't seen in quite a while. You Kiss my rug. Kiss How my do you butt. you know I don't say that? Because I know you're not the How kind of guy know? to do that. Because you, you know? go which way you the wind shifts. You don't know what kind of guy I am because you haven't been around for 32 years. A daughter abandoned moments after birth. You left me in a hospital. I, was two I left you. Who, 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 who told you that? I was two weeks Who told old? you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Answer my question. Who told you that? When I was growing up. Were you there for any one of my birthdays? No. Did you ever give me a birthday gift? No. No. Were you there for my confirmation, no. communion, and graduation? I was never there. And a mom who thought he was a bum. On my life, On you made life, money. On life, I made money. You never turned a saint upside down in your life, mother, so don't con me. You get all in Pat Cooper's family. Hear a father declare unconditional love for his son. Mike, I love you. Well, I haven't never heard that before. All right, so me and you may never hear again. He's a firm dad who knows how to discipline with a sense of humor. Look, all of a sudden now, he wants me to get on my knees and kiss his ass. I ain't going to do it. Uh, right. I don't give a damn who he is. Right. For what? For what? You see? Sit in on the family finances. With all your money with $65 a week, that's what you That's take. what the court told me to give you if I'm making 90 a week. If I'm making 90 love. You weren't making 90. I was making 90. It's documented. Don't Don't tell me. Don't believe what you hear. You know something? I'm ashamed of you. Financial advice that would embarrass H&R Block. Joel Siegel says it's a laugh riot. Who told you that? Liz Smith says you'll love Pat. Who told you that? Pia Lindstrom says it's a two-way street. 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 Don't miss the fun. It's all in the Pat Cooper family. The story of an overly protective father. To someone who never hurt you, I never beat you, I never killed you, I never took anything out of your mouth, but you turn around and you're brainwashed you and your education you by you telling me that I'm making a I'm making a fool of your profession, you ought to be you ashamed of yourself. Me. Love. When your ass jump me on the street. Respect. Oh, I owe you for being born now. Honor. How much I owe you, you for food? How much I owe you for food? How much I owe you for clothes? How dare you insult my intelligence, mother dear? How oh, dare come you? On, stop I'm ashamed so of you that you even want money off anybody. You ought to be ashamed. I what are you going to do with your money? Take it with you? I never will. See, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. The one that worry about it. I don't oh. worry about it. I earned mine, my dear mother. I earned oh, it, and not so by did you. I. Oh. So did I. Then keep it. I don't want yours. Keep it. Give it to your grandkids. They deserve it. <laughs> Love, respect, and honor. Three words that can't seem to find their way into the turbulent Pat Cooper family. <laughs> As I'm concerned, you don't have a daughter. I you don't want you. I don't want to have a daughter. You have never done anything. You I don't want. Oh, I've never done mother. nothing. I know. When's I know. When's the last time you seen yeah. your mother? Huh? When's the last time you seen your mother? Well, she asked me for to, to pay the back rent that I didn't owe. Don't miss all in the Pat Cooper family. You'll love it. You goodbye. 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 Who this? Milk crate marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard. All right, let's, let me tell you what happened. Pat uh, right. called Gary yesterday out of his mind. You were out of your mind yesterday. Well, I was angry because it's just, I, I just can't believe what came down, that's all. And I said to myself, well, let me give Gary a call. I says, because I know you were semi-involved. Right. Because you went out on a limb and you made a, a, a situation that I thought was going to come out to be very, very, very nice. Right. <clears throat> and it became a real glob. Right. A glob. Now, I think. A glob. I think I was set up. 
right. I get a call from the Geraldo people. They like me to do a show with them with my son. And I said, fine. Right. I said, you don't care. I said, be my pleasure. I said, say, we want to discuss father. Gee, I wonder where they get that idea. <clears throat> yeah. I love Geraldo. No, I'm going to yeah. tell, tell you where they got the idea. So she said to me, you know, your son's a intern here. I said, really? I didn't know that. I thought he worked in a flower shop. No, part time. Right. So I said, gee, I'm very surprised. A man, you know, the young man never told me anything. Nothing has owned me, you know, there's an explanation. I said, she never told me. I said, let me call him and find out what happened. Because we're right. doing okay. We had gone to dinner. We had gone to lunch. Right. We had a nice conversation, you know. Because if anybody remembers, I don't have, I should have a little clip here to play for you, Robin. You don't but have I, uh, a clip? I don't have a clip. I should have a clip. But the last time, a couple of times ago when Pat was on, him Actually, and his son. I know exactly. It was my birthday. Right. Yeah. So right. this was August. I, I put together a birthday show for right. Robin and. Pat did a spectacular job. Right. You got to admit, it was the best it's birthday show ever. Show. It really was. <laughs> well, because it was your birthday, and I wanted to make it reflect like your family life. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Pat came on the show and had a big argument with his son, and I tried to bring them together. And you actually, did. they you went did. out and went out to dinner yeah, together. No, you and, did. It was, you know, and I said, okay, fine. Hey, I got to try something. Right. Nothing wrong with that. And you guys went out to dinner, right. and it seemed to few times. work. Yeah, it was working up until I get this call. But I go just, ahead. But now I'm not angry. I said to the young I said, listen, I'm, now, everything was working. Right, yeah. you've been seeing your son yeah. once yeah. in a while. Calling up, you know. I said, "Look, I can't. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on my way out of town. I kept including what was going on. I said, you know, right. I'm patient with me. I got a job. Well, everything's all easy. I understand. I don't say that. I said, fine. And meanwhile, of course, you, uh, you don't, you don't have a good relationship with your ex-wife or your daughter. But, but your son, was, we put that aside. We put that aside, and I, your son yeah. and you we finally communicated. I said, Look, yesterday died. Let's go on with this thing. Try to get something. And, and I even said on your show, yes. it's going to be very difficult for me to be your father. But if I can become your friend, something of this, I, it was on the tape. We've got the it was on the tape. I remember him. That's right. Okay, so go ahead. I, he said, well, why should nobody want to say nothing? I didn't think it was that important. Right. So I said, well, she said, well, maybe it's not important, but tell me something. I said, All right, yeah. so now your son at this point you find out is an is intern at Geraldo. Right. Now okay, I get a call ahead. the next day yes. from one of the producers. Right. They said, Mr. Cooper, you know, we're about that thing, and uh, we'd like to ask you some questions. I said, okay. I said, uh, by the way, how did you get my number? She said, well, your son gave it to me. I said, oh, okay. Okay. She said, no, we, we have the Geraldo tape here. I mean, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Howard Stern tape. Yeah. They had a tape. Yeah, I said, who gave you the tape? She says, your son. Right. She played the tape for me. I said, you know, I says, you're going to have to forgive me. I said, but this is not going to get me angry because what the hell? I said, why didn't a man tell me? I said, I would go on what he told me or not. I said, I got nothing to hide. I said, you know, I'm trying. She said, well, we want to ask certain questions. She said, and uh, I'll play the devil's advocate. I said, don't play the devil's advocate. I said, right. just put me on the air. She said, well, we like you here in person. I said, I can't make it in person. You're going to have to forgive me. I said, because I got things to do. Right. She says, well, what about a remote? I said, wait a minute. All of a sudden, I become a big star. Uh, a remote. My, oh, thank God. A remote. A, a remote. She said, wherever you are, we'll get you on the street. She said, I said, wait, wait, wait. Why all of a sudden I'm, 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 I'm a big yeah, guy? Where is Geraldo been? Right. Right. Said. So she says to me, well, uh, can we depend on you? I says, here's what I'll do. Right. I will phone you. You yeah. tell me what time from where I'm going to be because I was, I was doing a thing called True Blue and I didn't know when they were going to call me where I was going to be. What the hell is True Blue? That's, it's that's, a TV that's, that's show. the NBC show. Oh, you did that? Like, yeah. Well, I just had a little cameo. Yeah, you know, anyway. But anyway, so she said, well, okay. Come on. Yep. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Show business. So she says to me, you know, right. you know, uh, very business like. She says, well, uh, can we? I says, honey, I promise you, I'm a man of my word. If I tell you I'm going to call you, I will call you. And I call. Right. Right. She says, well, we're going to go on, the, you know, in a few minutes. She says, Pat. I says, fine. I'm, I, I'm anxious to get to this thing. I figure, well, we're going right. to. And the it. subject is fathers and sons. Fathers and sons. Which you knew now, right in the back of your mind. Hold but on now, you and your son were getting along. Something's bothering me. Right. Because I told, I told myself, now look out. Be, log out, don't let this guy buffalo you. But I said, now what? what meaning Geraldo no, or your son? My son. I said, Go ahead. Saying, well, maybe I'm out of order. I shouldn't do this. This right. is what gets people in trouble. Right. I should back off and shut up. It's going to be fine. Right. But now, wait a minute. Because your son and you were No, I'm going to take criticism, but that's part of the game. I can't understand right. it. And okay. I'm not going to blow my cool. Go ahead. I said, all right. Now, well, wait a minute. We, let me ask you. Did they complete a pre-interview? Did she ask you any yes, questions? Yes, she started to ask me, you know, if you could know. But nothing like it. I should say, well. Yeah, but obviously minute. you knew that it was going to be... Something is... I've set them... I, set I the mean, they were playing tapes of our show, yeah, so... Right. I yes. said to her, yes. I said, honey, I said, I hope you don't think me, I said, you know, nuts in the brain, but something is rubbing me wrong here. You're making me all of a sudden like I'm a Paul Newman here. Right. You know? yes. I said, and all of a sudden, I said, you know, uh, this... Uh, I, I, why... why my, yeah. I said, I want you to ask my son why he never told me. Not again. She says, well, I will ask him and I'll let you know. It's all right, fine, I brush that. Well, maybe I'm getting... Uh, they're stroking you. They're stroking you. All right. Now we... And you would call your son and everything was yeah. cool. Yeah, but yeah. He, he never called him. Nice. Mm -hmm. What does he call you, Daddy? Daddy, uh, everything's no, fine. No, you know, but I didn't question. Are you? Uh, did you have? I didn't question about that. I just said, why do you tell me about the Haraldi? And then we forgot about it. You think your son set you up? 
Oh, I know he set me up. All right, so what happened? I know he set me up. All right, well, wait a second. Now, hold a second. I think at this point I should tell Pat something. Yeah. Shouldn't I tell Pat this? When we announced you were coming on this morning, yeah. guess who came down here? Okay. Your son. Fine. You want to okay. see him? Do I want to see who? Your son. Yeah, I'll see anybody. You let him in here? Well, well it's your studio. What do you think so, you, but I don't want to feel like I set you up, because he came down here. No, no, he, yeah, Barry yeah, told me yeah, he came yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, oh, oh, uh, listen, uh, let me get my thing finished. Yeah, let's, uh, hear, all right, let's hear Pat's story. story. Okay, sorry, let's hear Pat's story. I understand. I understand. All right, go ahead. So I turn around and I said, oh, all right, now we're going to go on the air. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, uh, Geraldo goes, Pat, are you there? Yes, I'm there. He says, well, listen, let me ask you a question. Yeah, in that lawyer style of yeah, his. Okay, well, listen to this. This is how he set up. He says to me, uh, well, your son has something to say to you. And, uh, and all of a sudden, you abandoned me. I said, I abandoned you? Now I'm saying, wait a minute, am I hearing right? What do you mean I abandoned you? I said, Fred, and I started to lose my temper. I said, first right. of all, I said, how do you abandon someone you pay support for 21 years? I said, what do you mean I abandoned you? And you know what? My father said, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to be your father. He I truly and honestly don't want to be your father. You should have hung up. No, 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 no. That's what they wanted to do. See, I was the only father that showed up. They asked three other fathers. And Who no were the other heard. fathers? A rich, a, a Jerry Van Dyke. Right. Uh, Jerry Van Dyke. What in a... Yeah. Yeah. What Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz. Yeah, the gentleman well, I don't... Desi Arnaz is dead. Uh, no, all right. right. No, no, Desi Arnaz Jr., I'm sorry. But, uh, right. And the other one was... Um, Please, I don't remember. Anyway. Okay. So, uh, well, and I'm sitting there and I'm saying... Now, you had worked everything now, out with your son. Now, now I'm, I'm not reading all, all their mentally because I'm trying to I'm trying to analyze and say, no, wait a minute. So I feel his son was using it. His son was using it. I'm saying that I do something to this right. boy. Right. If I did, I'm, I must, I'm trying to analyze. I'm talking to Geraldo. Right. Now, and now I hear one guy... <clears throat> gets on, <clears throat> gets on the microphone, and so I, now here's what I hear next. If I was Pat Cooper's father, I spit in his face. And I'm saying, what am I spit in my face? Hold it. <clears throat> I'm saying to myself, why in Geraldo saying, hey, wait a minute, we're, 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 you know, we're, we're doing something right. here. Right. A program. What, 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 how dare you say you're going to spit? Now, if I'm in the studio, I would have globbed this guy. I don't right. care who he is. He had to kill me. Exactly. I would have killed. Right. Him. So what if I that ah, another woman married? I don't need your father. What? Did, I said, I'm saying, wait a minute, what happened to somebody? Defend on my side. You know, we have right. side. Well, yeah, who do and you you're on the phone. My side? Oh. And you don't know what we Jerry said Van before. Dyke's wife said, now, wait a minute. There are two sides to every story, she says. Yes. I said, Jesus, somebody's talking about it. Another guy said, my wife, another man on the, on the panel said, my yeah. wife kept my kids away from me for 13 years, 11 years, and I cried every night. I'm saying, well, now, you had explained to your son over lunch that you were kept away from the children. I what? I told my son, I didn't abandon you. I, right. I was about three miles down the street. I did pay my support. What the law said, the law tells you, Pat, you got to pay this, you got to pay it. I never ran away from my Now, did you duty. lose your cool on Geraldo? Did you start I, yelling? I, yeah, what I, I tell you, what right. I, I said, I, I screamed it. I don't want to be your father. I said, you're a disgrace. I don't know. I, 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 every cliche, I don't remember what I said. I was so angry. Now I'm thinking, why, why, why did this young man do this? And why is Geraldo letting this man lie to them, saying that I, you know, I, 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 I abandoned. Now, abandoned to me means you disappeared. No. Nobody sees you. Right. You paid I was, support. I, I, I was there all the time. You paid get support. Along. Hey, hey, I didn't see them. They didn't see me. Fine. That's one thing. Right. But don't say I abandoned because now you got a war with me. And I said, now. Abandoned means you, you didn't support them. That's right. right. Abandoned means that you're out of the picture. Abandoned right. means you're not there. So, you're but meanwhile, I'm not. Abandoned, you, you did not abandon. Albert, I'm not coping here because I'm saying I can't believe what I'm hearing. I now, why did you agree to go on Geraldo? Because, let me, th because, hey, 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 I come on your show. You knew you'd be upset. Excuse me. You knew he was going to shine That's okay. You. But wait a minute. I come on your show. Right. I open my mouth. Right. Did I tell the, my son or whoever's on it? I said, if you want to answer me back, please come back and defend it. Did I give it right? But yeah. I said to myself, I'm building a Jack story here. I'm accusing my son maybe of something he's not doing. I've got to go on this show. And if I get, wait a minute. And don't I you feel that your son went on there just to impress the Geraldo people? Because I don't know for him. because I don't know what an intern does. Now, I've said an intern, yeah. I, I was told, I don't know how true it is. That he an intern usually goes to medical school. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. What are you now? Now. now. If you're taping a show, right. how do you get callers out there? You must know who you're going to get to, to, to call back. That's right. And I'm not sure, but the voice on there, I reckon, I think I, I'm not sure. I'm saying, wait a minute. All of a sudden, everything is against me here. Uh. And I can't understand Harald and that same one say, wait a minute. This man came on our show. This man's... Uh, no, uh, he sets everybody up, Harald, though. He's a real scuzz, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so I turned around and I said, well, I don't understand. Right. As I don't understand. Oh, he'll let you hang in the wind. I don't care. Right. My son wants to call me. Anything he wants to, that's fine. You want to let him, him in here? Because we can get this straightened out. Hold on a minute. Yeah. I, I want to find it. Now I'm, now I'm angry. Howie, Howie, can I do something? I'm making a statement now. It's over. 
this young man couldn't come near me anymore if, 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 if God came off the cross. Well, you can't explain this to you. You can't explain it to me. You know why? Because I was the day before, the two days before I asked him, what the, is everything all right? Yeah, you know, I said, well, why don't you tell me that you went on this year? Just tell me. I don't care. I was still one. I, I want to tell uh, everybody you're a bum. I would go on and say, okay, because I got to defend myself. Right. And that's the reason you I went you on Geraldo. No. I agree with Pat. I went the to, son should have said, look, I still got well, a problem with you, and I'm going to discuss it on Geraldo. Right. We went to the restaurant and the lunch. And we went to right. the, they, they, look, uh, uh, listen, I'm so angry. So, okay, wait a minute. We're, we're right. crashing out, but don't tell me. I, I, I you're understand. trying to work out a relationship. But you Let know me what? get your son in here. Let's, on, tell, on, let's tell him. Hold on a minute. You don't want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But just well, wait a minute. He has to finish. I don't want to finish. Now, at the end of this particular thing, Geraldo said you got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. No, no, all right. I, How long were you on That's for? your side. I was on and off for about an hour. I had no way. I paid the phone call. Right. <laughs> you paid the oh, phone yeah. call. No. Yeah, I paid the phone call. Yeah, so you don't care about that. No. So I turn around and now this Jerry Van Dyke's wife says, uh, yeah. you know, we all got to understand our two sides for so she repeated that. So right, like right. I said, my wife turned around and. She uh, sounds like a robot, Jerry yeah, Van Dyke's wife. Right, right. Yeah. Now, yeah. I said, Geraldo, yeah. I want to thank that lady for saying there's two sides to every story. That's right. The gentleman to say that his wife kept the kids away. And remember, I showed up. Nobody else did. That's right. I showed up, so mm -hmm. I goes to show you my character, and I got character, and this young man ain't going to knock my character down. He's not smart enough, he's not big enough, but you see, a lot of people tell me, forget about it, he's a jerk. I said, no. With me, you knock my character, you got a war in your hands, there's nothing more important to me than my character, and he is not going to get away with this here. Right. i got to let somebody know, that's why I called you, because this was my only forum here. All right, now listen, I'm bringing your son. Okay, bring Do you think that's a good idea? I leave it. Here. I don't want to Shanghai you. You're not Shanghaiing me. The man's gay. Hey, he came down here. I didn't yeah, call. Well, him. Why did he? Come I didn't call. Did, did, did he tell your wife? I have no. Did, I haven't did he know he what I came gonna, down? No. Did, did he know what I'm going to talk about? I might have not said a word. What does he know? All I said is Pat Cooper is coming down here, and he showed up. Okay. Now, all right. That's between you and him now. Yeah. He's going to come in and explain to me, not to okay. you. To right. me, he's going to explain. Now, you know what I do? I put the mic down. I get in the mic. And right. In the office. No, 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 no. You're going to sit here. Okay. I'll interview him, okay. and if you need to interrupt, fine. But let oh. me, he has to explain to me why he did that, because he broke the sacred trust. I tried to bring you guys together. That's right. You guys went out to dinner. There was no problem. What about lunch? And then, no, he, what's and what's then, he, and then he, uh, he sounds to me like he's in showbiz now, and he meant to, uh, he, he turns it on and off for Geraldo. But I I'm against know, him now. I want to know why. Yeah, all of a sudden he fabricated another fight with his father. Right, exactly. Do you understand that Geraldo. point? Right, okay, stop, stop, stop talking about it. <laughs> I want to straighten this out, Robin. How I, dare I, I, you, Robin? Yeah, but, uh, what? I, I didn't. What, Pat? I'll be here. But I'll be here. No, I'm going to wait. I'll be... Where are you going? You're going to give him the, uh, the, uh, the. No, uh... Sit down. Oh, I... Gary, how did Pat's son know? Pat's son just came down? Pat's son. Pat's son used to live on the island. Now he lives in the city. Oh. And? So he called up. The I Pat's son has his explanation for all this? I don't know. I haven't asked him. All right. Well, how did he show up? He just showed up. He called up and he said, what's your address? And I said, 600 Madison, but I didn't know it was him. Right. And then he was at the door and the guy okay, called fine. downstairs. All right. I don't want Pat to think I set him up. Uh, well, you understand that? I didn't say I, I know you got more class than that. Thank you. That's number one. Number and two. I, and if you told me no, you two, don't want to see boy, your son. Boy, no, but when he spoke to you, he never said who he was. Right. Right, right. right there. What's the matter? Can you tell you some Pat Cooper's son? All right. All right. Me. Pat, let's work this out. I don't want to work it out. I understand. But let's get an explanation. Yeah. You do want an explanation. You said you wanted an explanation. This might be the best thing that happens. You know why? Right. I back away and I go I go about my business. Exactly. Well, this you let me handle this because, yeah, believe me, you want. I, am, I don't have a psychology degree, but I'm going to tell you something. I am the greatest psychologist that ever lived because I know human nature, and I'll get to the bottom of this. And then I will pass judgment like Judge Wapner. Oh, yeah, Solomon. I'm spit and I am like Solomon. See, this kid, I believe, is a friend of Mike's son's. When he said, if I had Pat Cooper with my father, I'd spit in his face. This is the kind of thing that Geraldo let this guy get away with. Right, he likes that. Well, yeah. But you played into it, but you didn't know you no, were playing into it. I didn't play into it. it. You I were was, an unwitting I, suspect. I was so angry to think that this, that this kid turned around and said, yeah, I abandoned. abandoned. Please, I'm very Wait a minute, here's a kid, 32 yeah. years. Now you wake up and say, abandoned you after 32 years? You right. know what I mean? Now you wake up. That's right. Hey, look, it could be worse. Gary could be your son. I went there, but at least he's working. Yeah. Well, I, I'm shocked because I right. thought, uh, you know, we thought we had looked at a lot of and it was devastation. Difficult. I said it was easy. I even told you, so I tried my best. I really, really tried right. Let me say something here now. Geraldo, you you can eat me. You know why? You know why? You know why, asswipe head? I'm going to tell you why. Because we got the two of them in the studio, jerk. Well, I'll tell you another thing. Right? Geraldo. He, he's just looking for ratings. 
That's fine. I'm and trying to bring people together. Haram he ruined is everything. He's supposed to be no, giving up no, trash TV. Yeah. The boy ruined but everything. But he doesn't mind destroying The boy ruined families. everything, not him. All right. Okay, you're right. That's Haraldo. a good point. The That's, boy. Good. That's, That's true. true. That's true. That's true. He, oh, used, he used Geraldo, and Geraldo said, yeah, you can use me without saying, wait a minute, are you got your facts together? We are estranged from your father. It's one thing. You're telling me this man abandoned you? That means I didn't pay a dime. You are right. Pat. Pat. You're right. We're wrong. Pat. Yes, sir. Hold on, just give me a couple of seconds. Are you a wise guy? What are you, a wise guy? How dare you? Wait, here we're having a decent conversation. The man was nice enough to come on, and now you're going to spit in his face. Wait, wait, wait. We're on the air. We're on the air. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Pat are just discussing a few things. <laughs> trying to straighten this whole thing out, and I can't. That's obvious. It's, it's too far gone. Well, you know, this you were, you were absolutely right when you said there was a breach of the trust. It was. I'm, I'm agreeing with Pat here. Trying to establish a trust. I try to remain neutral. You know, if I'm wrong, it's very I'm difficult. Wrong, and I'll very take it. difficult. I'll right. Take it All right, maybe you are wrong. Let's find out. Yeah. Robin, we have a very busy schedule. Pat yeah. Cooper is here. You've heard the story. If you've just tuned in, Pat is here. He got shanghaied on the Geraldo show by his son, and his son is here. Not good. Let All me just right. bring his son in. And Get his son. When I'm on here, I can say whatever you want, son. You never said that. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm very open-minded. I'm very, I, at least, at least, at least I bring things to the fore. You bet. That's all. One thing about you, You're man. You're willing to discuss. <laughs> Help me open. All right, here he is. Pat Cooper's son. Pat Cooper Jr. Michael, Michael, Michael Cooper. Cooper. Michael Cooper. Michael Caputo. Michael Caputo. All right, Michael. Oh, boy. Here we go. Pat's ex-wife is in the lobby, as you know. Oh, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> his sister's in the green room. Now, Michael, i got to go with your father on this one. i got to tell you, I've heard his side of the story. And i got to tell you, it sounds to me like your dad was set up. Now, here's, here's my feeling on it, okay? Let me just tell you, and then you respond, okay? Okay. How you doing? Okay, fine. Right. Your dad didn't know you were a Geraldo intern. intern. When did that happen? Okay, I, I uh, joined the Geraldo staff um, around the end of October. All right. So I've been there that long. Over okay, there. all right. So Geraldo been... Show never knew that my father was Pat Cooper. I got the job at the Geraldo Show from the Center for Media Arts where they place people around right. internships in right. the city. By the way, you're a very good looking guy. and uh, Thanks. See, I try, see, you see, Pat, this. This is what? terrible. This is terrible. Let's, 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 right. this, it's just terrible that you guys know. I, you know, I don't think this is ever going to be repaired now. Well, well let's see. All right, let me tell you what, what my understanding is. So Geraldo's doing a show on uh, fathers and sons. You tell Geraldo you want to do the show. Is no, that right? I never happened? spoke to Geraldo about it. I used to work with the uh, producers over there at the show. I knew everything going on. Right. And I would see in advance the calendar and what kind of upcoming topics that they would have. Right. When I thought that the theme fit something to do with me, mm. I just happened to mention to one of the producers that I was Pat Cooper's son, which is about two weeks ago. Right. They never knew. Now, who were the other guys on the panel? You, you, Pat Okay, Cooper's there was uh, Chad Everett's son. Right. Um, I think. Uh, oh, Chad so, Everett? Did yeah, he abandon his son? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. They said, yeah. Right. Uh, basically, everything there was paternity suits. Right. My issue was the only one that wasn't really a paternity suit, but they were saying a father abandoned the children and, you know, right. or a divorce home. And your and dad was the, the only one to call in, actually. That's correct. Right. Okay. Correct. They did ask everybody else, and everybody else declined. Right. Um, one thing I got to say, Pat. The called Can Fatherhood Sorry. Be Forced? I, I say one thing I got to say, man. You're the only one with balls enough to call in on these shows. Because I have to stand up for what I believe is my Okay. Right. You don't want to be slandered. Who's going to slander? I might make nobody slander me. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, the last time I spoke to you, you and your father agreed to get together. You got together. You had dinner together. Things went well. Yes, they did. Okay. After the dinner... Everything went well. You guys even got together again. We got together about two or three times, I think. Right. And everything we was going pretty good. We were on the telephone. Well, they, you, they were going good on the dinners and everything, but... Uh, who paid? Oh, my father pays. Okay, you see what I mean? He says he has to always pay. That's right. His, that's, that's his thing. thing. He's got to pay. I all right, calm down. down. The money. You know, I mean, you're the one making that's money. Right. Then you're, that's, that's right. right. No show problem. I'm show off. Right. I, yeah. just, I says, hey, I'm a gentleman. This is my young son. Let me go out here. And if I, of course, I'm trying to establish a relationship. But he's not allowed to pay because I am making the money. This young man is making my kind of money. So if I turn on make him pay, I'm going to look like an idiot. Right, right. exactly. Right. Okay, all right. All right, but let's, you know, keep those side issues out of it. I love the side issues, though, Rob. It's hard for me. 
paid God. because <laughs> I like to know who paid. All right, but okay. Anyway, so all right, what was going on in the phone conversation? Uh, I don't know. He just, it seemed like there was distance there, like there always was. There always was a little bit distance. They're trying to warm up. He's trying to warm up to me. I understood right. that. But he's still bringing in the same crap of the family and the grandmother and the mother and his wife and what happened 30 years ago. Right. I am sick and tired of hearing. All right, but you could understand. On the bridge. I am sick of it. I had made, many times I had given him the chance to vent out what he felt, figuring if he vents it once, if he vents it twice, if he vents right. it three times, it'll be water under the bridge. Right. But for 30 years, it has not been water under the bridge, and I'm sick and tired of it. I don't want to hear about my grandmother. I don't want to hear about my sister. I don't want to hear about you my feel mother. Good about and that. I don't want to hear about his family in Las Vegas. I just want to hear about father and son. Right. And the issue never stays that. Right. Okay, that's so my, there was a problem. That's okay. my thing. Now, the interesting thing is, if there was a problem, though, did you tell your father? He knows I don't want to hear about that. I let him talk all the time. He's okay. very, very, he upstages. He didn't answer the question. You're right. I'll be the judge. Let me ask you something. He did not answer okay. the question. Because your father was under the impression when he was called by the Geraldo people that you guys had a good relationship. Not a great relationship. But it was on the work. But things were moving. There, there was dialogue, and I said to myself, you know something? It's, I said it to you on your show. I don't know if I can be this man's father, right. but I can be this guy's friend. Right. But I know it's difficult for him, and it's difficult for me. And about talking about the... the the, the, the matters of family for 30 years. I don't think I saw him 10 times in 30 years. All right, so let me... Gonna, all right, hold right. on. I won't say, so in other words, you when needed we went to out vent. to dinner, right. I spoke on the phone, it's something you naturally talk about. But you have to talk about. That's How could a, you avoid that topic? That's saying I want to ask you. Other, you naturally talk about it. So you know something, Your father, it, I think, is trying to explain what happened those 30 years ago. I heard it. Right. I yeah. heard it. Yeah, yeah but you know what I'm saying. No, well, no. You right. heard hot, that side. No, I right. heard his side. But I wanted, I wanted to give it my way. Well, he feels for 30 years you got their side. He wants 30 years. I didn't get there, so I, they don't talk right. about it. Well, for 30 him, years, they bad mouth them. thinking that I go over at my mother's house for dinner, that. I go to my grandma's house for dinner, and the topic of conversation is Pat But Cooper. you could understand Did that. The topic of conversation that? is not Pat Did Cooper. you tell him that? Okay. Yes, I told him many times. All right. All right, and did you? He wants to know when okay. my grandfather died. He wants to know, yeah, you know what, why? where you know my what? sister yes. works. Right. He wants to know. You know why? Because he wants to be vindictive. And I don't want to be a part of that. All right, that's legitimate. I don't want to be a See, that's legitimate. I don't want to. But the thing is. Because I say, myself to save myself calling up a, 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 a say downtown to go all right hold it a second let me say something let me say right, something but, yeah. now let's say let's say your father isn't perfect let's say his oh, really? fault he's is just a guy. let's say he's just a guy who's obsessed with what happened 30 years ago okay, okay let's all let's buy into okay, that fine. okay fine and you know that about him right. but yet you okay. see he's making a sincere effort to create a relationship with you which to me is something that you wanted dearly right uh -huh. you want to have a relationship with I, your father I, I you don't want to go through the rest of your life not knowing your father one day he'll be dead and you'll be you know gee i wonder what he was like, right? Certainly. Right. So the thing is, if he was sort of getting on track, even though he was screwing up with keeping bringing up your mom and the grandmother and all that stuff, you still had a couple of nice times together these last few months, right? That's correct. You had a few, a few nice times. So your uh -huh. father was under the impression that you were feeling a little better about him as a friend. And you, uh, you know, you were starting to treat him as someone that you could see every once in a while without all hell breaking loose. And he was beginning to trust you. Right. Okay, fine. Okay, right. now, fine. so the trust was beginning to build. Okay. In fact, even when he came on the show here another time, he didn't even harp so much on uh, your mom and stuff. And, in fact, he even said that you guys were having a nice relationship. I heard that, yes. Yeah, okay. So he, 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 he was trying to build a trust there and not say anything bad anymore about you or your sister or your mom. You know what I mean? He He's, was trying. Right. He was trying. He had already written off your sister and your mom, but you he was interested in having a relationship with. And, and quite uh, frankly, it was really I, working out. This is okay. what I had believed. Now, right. I can't swear that that was what he was trying to do. Right. This is what I believed that he was trying now, to do. Here's where I have the problem. Okay, go ahead. You go to work for Geraldo. You put yourself on the show. Uh -huh. now, seriously, I, I really, I don't think this was right. So you go on the Geraldo show, uh -huh. and then your dad calls you and says, gee, the Geraldo show called up. They tell me you're interning. Is that true? And you go, yes. Okay. And uh, they, you say, well, geez, is there any problem I should know about? Is there a reason why I'm coming on the Geraldo show? Is there a problem here? And you say, no, 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 no. There's no problem. There's, you there know. wasn't a problem. All right, there wasn't a problem. There wasn't any problem. Okay. So then to go on the Geraldo show okay. and then start yelling out. Now, we haven't seen the show. Okay, when does I the show air? A Friday, air? Friday at 4 o'clock. Okay. This Friday at 4 o'clock. For you to, like, as soon as your father gets on, you abandoned me. You abandoned me. 
I didn't start screaming that out. That's I saw the oh, tape oh, yesterday oh, myself. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't say that. Oh, oh. He asked my father to open up, and my right. father said what he had to say. Right. And I said what I had to say, which is the same thing that I came on here saying when I spoke with you in uh, August. So you don't feel okay. it was that bad what happened? Oh, so what you did? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't know. Yeah. Who was the one this. that said I'll spit in your face if you want my father? Some lady in the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some hold lady hold in on, the hold audience hold said that because they heard how he was talking over the telephone like he did here in August. Let me ask you a question. And there's some lady in the audience. So would you, but how can you build trust? I said that about you, about you. Yes. And I'm in that room. I would have ate our face up because, because first of all, first of all, first of all, the setup was here when I rather don't tell this man or this woman, whoever it was, it was a woman or a man who said that. It was a woman. It was a woman. I'll spit in fact, she saying. wasn't the only one. About five or six yeah, five people said I, I told well, one person. Right, Let's get that I correct. Said, right. I said, right. I told, no, there's no correction here because I there told is. them exactly okay, fine. what went on. Well, the people because, don't know that. Because people are going to see the show and they're going to hear and they're going to judge for themselves. doesn't matter one way or the other because it's not going to hurt me one way or the other. What hurts me is I, I, you know, to put me in a situation like that is fine. You can knock my brains out. You got a right to. You can do that. But I got a right to defend myself. At least you should have said, listen, I'm going to knock you on your rear end. And the well, I think when your dad called, you had a right to tell him the show was about dads who abandoned their kids. No, it was Can Fatherhood Be Forced? That was the oh. name of the title yeah. about the uh, children from divorced parents. And, and I told ta him that on mm. the telephone All when right. he called me. Said, right. How come you didn't tell me you worked for Geraldo? I well, turned I around and I said to my right. father. All of a sudden, I have to report to you where no, I work. No, see, he wasn't concerned where I worked for the last 30 years. But I didn't ask you to be concerned. Oh, I see. So I have to oh, tell him. That's this true. is how I feel. Right. i got to tell him at my age where I'm working. No, oh, he didn't care oh, for 30 oh, years. Oh, 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 that's true. Well, what are you kidding? talking about at I mean, dinner, though? Kidding? I mean, come I on. Who's he kidding? Well, because it's Geraldo? No. If it was uh, a laundry mat, he don't care. But because would, it's Geraldo, would, he's the one afraid. who came and told me, I'm trying to get Sally Jesse Raphael. I'm trying to get Geraldo. I'm trying to get Phil Dunahue. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to blow it. I'm going to blow the bugle and let everybody know. Because they wouldn't give him an hour, he didn't go on their show. This is what he told me. Because so I, I worked for Geraldo. Geraldo gave Why me Why should he be on for five minutes, Geraldo though? Him Why should I be on for five minutes? What is well, your you certainly took the opportunity at Geraldo's show to be on. Hold on a minute. You took the opportunity. I was on the hour. I didn't get the hour. I was on the hour. You see what I mean? I no, was on the hour. All right, I was on the whole hour. Don't tell me I wasn't on the hour. We, I was on the phone an hour, and I was in and out of the conversation. So don't tell me. And you go, you can't discuss a current affair for seven minutes or this for nine minutes, okay? It's and true. if I want to go on and make my statement, that's my business. You want to defend my statement? That's your that's business. Fine. That's right. your that's business. All that no one's your but that's that's all that I didn't done. ask. Hold on a minute. I didn't ask you to tell me who, where you go, what you get. The only thing I said, maybe I misunderstood the girl. I said, excuse me, you were you were intern in the Not that I was. Questioning you, God bless you. Be an intern nine times. I wasn't questioning you. I don't give a damn what you do. It's none of my business. I wasn't questioning you. I just want to know if this woman told me the truth. Right. Now you turn around and say I don't have to answer to you. I didn't say you have to answer. I didn't me. turn around and tell you. If you said to me, yes. I don't have to answer. When he you. asked me the question on the phone, did I intern at Geraldo? I, I said yes, I right. do. Right. I right. answered the question, right. but I. But well, why he did asked me your, why was I didn't tell him a week ago. You must have suspected that Geraldo was going to be asking you about this. Yeah, but that's why I see. I said if I don't go on, did you get the impression on the show that your son was going to badmouth you? Did, no, he, did your son no, badmouth you? I was sitting in this particular room. I wasn't was badmouthing him. I, I wasn't was badmouthing yeah, him. Hold on, hold He's on. angry because I told my side the story. He told his but side the story. But the side of the story. Like what they heard. So why are you mad, Pat? I'm mad because when you tell me I abandoned you. I didn't say that he abandoned I said you. But we'll have to watch the tape to see that. Thank you. Thank right. you. Let I everybody watch the you. tape and decide for themselves. Yeah, now, you're saying that you, you, that you don't... I abandon you. I right. turned around and, and said, I, said, I abandon you. So, Robin... I'm, I'm lost already. Well, Robin, I'm certainly not going to ask you for family advice oh. because... Uh, no, I can take care of this. Okay. <laughs> you now, should never talk to each other again. Right, no. No, no the point is, Pat, I don't think you're really mad with him. No, I am mad. If he said he abandoned no, you, no, that's no, one thing. No, but, uh... Aren't those my feelings? But wait a minute. I solved the problem right now. The problem right now is it ends here. That's my it. My word is a man. It ends here with him and me. I won't bother with him no more. Because it was call. weird that you went no, on the Geraldo I, 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 show. Yeah, right? well, it's, it's hard it's to take a, a healing how relationship. How right. You had a healing. Why go on Geraldo? It ends here. Me. I think you were mad. I think, Pat, you were mad because why bring it up on Geraldo? Can I say something? Why shouldn't your son be a part all of that? You didn't life. abandon your son. All my life, Robin. My father has found an excuse not to bother with me. But he was bothering you. Now he's got another reason. That's But come on. This is another reason. Now he's got a good reason. But shouldn't, you, wait a minute. But shouldn't you have called? Oh, wait a second. Wait a, wait a second, Michael. Shouldn't you have called your dad up and said, "Hey, listen, I'm going on this Aroldo show. Here's the topic. 
What do you think, Dad? Do we want to discuss this, in, you know, on the Geraldo show together? I'm willing to say this, this, and this, and you should come on and say this because I don't want to blow a good thing that we have. He knew before me they were definitely going to do a show. Yeah, but wouldn't you want to? But wouldn't you want to discuss it with him? It was on. Oh, I did when he it called. It was never on. And off. It was on because it the producer said to me, "This is what's going to come down." She said. Then she said to me, "I'll play the devil's advocate," which I said, "Okay, fine." Right, right. And she asked me a couple of questions. I said, "Okay, fine, whatever." Yeah. I wasn't going. I was going to say, "Wait, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that." So now you're saying, I wanted them to say whatever they wanted it because I wanted to answer. If I'm wrong, I'll learn for something. Now what happens? I'm not, hold on, I'm not perfect here. Now what happens if perfect, what happens if you watch the show, Pat, and you see that your son didn't say he abandoned you? Oh, he said it. There's no question. I don't. I don't want to see. He said it. He I said, said it. my father turned his back on me. Yeah. Okay. I just used he to, turned his back on his own him. flesh and blood. Which was me. Oh, this is how well, wait I a second. Oh. Okay, yeah. this is how I feel. Okay. Well, but the, well, you know he what? Did. But that's, that's why he keeps he bringing he up. Did. But that's oh, why your he. Mother, did. Your mother didn't turn her back on you. Your mother turned around and told you that I'm the bum. That's all. My mother did. didn't say that you oh, were the bum. My mother was crap. there. Oh, my mother was there. Where now, wait, were you? Your mother had to be there. What do you mean she had to be there? Your mother had to be there. Wait a second. Wait a second. We had to be here too. Where were you for thirty years? Where were you for thirty years? I was in America. Where were you? I was in America. Yeah, how come the phone didn't ring? I, didn't call you. You. I don't want to call you. I don't want to call you. Didn't want to call I don't want to call you. Michael. Yeah, that's the bottom line. I don't want to call that's anyone that talks line. the way you talk. That's now, Michael, let me ask you a question. Let me that's ask you a question. Line, right, so over, now you can see why. That's the bottom line. Now you can see why Pat yeah. was bringing it up at dinner all the time because you see. <laughs> There's a lot of feelings. You were still feeling. There. You, he still wants there. to keep explaining himself to you. He was opening up a dialogue. Listen, that's You can't open a dialogue. He was told one way, and all of a sudden you're telling him he's wrong, and he's turning around. Well, what are you doing? Oh, see, he's trapped. You know what? He don't want nobody to stand up to what they you have. To you have right. the floor. Right. Well, I got a right to stand up. Go you ahead. have to agree with me. Go ahead. That's fine. Go he don't ahead. like it. He can kiss my butt. Go ahead. And this is the end of it as of now. <laughs> Go he ahead. can kiss my butt. Now he can tell the world I abandoned him. The world him. knows the truth I'm now. The world now. knows that you were a fake for 30 years. Were, you were a fake. You were never a father fake. to me. You were never a father to me. Wish. Who wishes? Who wishes? Who wishes? Who wishes? Who wishes? Wait a second. He is a good father. He is a good father. You know, he is capable of being a good father. capable. Right. Maybe he wasn't allowed to be a good father. I don't know. By maybe you're by your mother. Mom is what he's saying. Uh, yeah, what's his excuse the last 20 years when I was on my own in my own apartment? Where were you? He was 20 years he's on his own. He's 32. That means That's he right. was 20 years on his own. I'm 32. He's 20 years on his own. You know, I'm Pat, 12, 12 years on, on my own. I'm 12 years on oh, my you? own. What are you? Oh, okay. Thank you. You got to be. No, you, you can't call me and say, how are you? See, if I'm living again. I don't want to call you because. You were never there for any kind of emotional support. You're an unfair man. Unfair about what? You're a one-sided man. You don't give anybody a chance to defend your right. You're one-sided. You're a one-sided. You're a one-sided. You're a one-sided. Like it. I lost you know, I understand yeah. that you, you know, you're hurt. Right. But you're a little boy. Hurt. But your dad was trying. didn't get to see his father, okay, for all those years. But he was trying. But yeah. your father way was had trying? a problem. Wait a minute. Your father had a problem uh -huh. with the family unit you were living in. That's right. Okay. I understand that. That's all right. All right. Yeah, that you makes sense. You both have to understand that both of you had problems with the situation that neither one of you were the complete maker of. And okay. either you got to forget that and see what you can be to each other now. Yeah. Or you can't be together. Okay. Ooh. The thing about it is that they, Ooh, I, wait a second. Excuse I me. That, I that was a very impressive speech. <laughs> By the way, uh, Mark Chernoff, our program director, wants to announce he just hired Pat and Mike to do 6 to 10 on weekends. <laughs> it's part of the new schedule change here at the K Rock. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it will be just wall to wall fights and the best classic rock all mixed together. You know, you together can't keep I, blaming each other and wanting forgiveness and wanting right. to, you to hear his side and take your side. It isn't going to work. You see, I think. It's never going to work, Robin, because I ain't going to let it work. It's over. That's the end of it. Hey, now, right, Pat, now I'm, saying, hold on. Right. I'm saying publicly, so now you can have, now you got right. a record. I'm glad right. everybody over. heard. This so is what so I heard so for 30 so years. So Every so time. So he no never heard of it 30 years. This is the best thing he said. He's lying. You blew a father. Goodbye. Goodbye. You blew a father. Goodbye. You blew a father. You blew Like it was my fault he put me here. Goodbye. I say it again. He didn't hear me. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's all. Goodbye to you. Go back to Vegas in your little bubble out there. I'll go where I want to go. your little make-believe family. Oh, Yeah, the Pat Cooper 
make believe family. No. Go back now, to Vegas. Now you're, knock, now you're knocking yeah. my wife and my yeah. daughter. Like you never knocked. That's all Can't I heard that. for thirty years. My wife and my daughter, my mother and my grandmother and my sister for thirty years. What I'm saying is, you're vindictive. You're vindictive. You're the one who knocks the family all the time. Your own mother you knock. I defend. You knocked your own mother. That's right. You are respectful. That's right. You knocked your own mother. That's right. Because my mother wasn't a mother. That's my right. She wasn't a mother. You don't like it? Too bad. She wasn't a mother. That's right. Then I'll knock who I want. If that means my father, that means my father. Then then you are wrong. You're out of line. 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 All right, so we're both out of line. Anybody got a line? Oh, no. Is that any chance you'll do Mama's Molignon for us? He wants respect, but he doesn't know how to give respect. You know what the problem is You've got to learn to give it before you give it. You're not about respect of him. You're not about Pat. Look who's talking. Yeah, all right. Look who's talking. Pat, how you know you're right. How You know you're right. You know what it is? If I was just Joe the plumber, you'd never hear from this Oh, come on. You know what it is? The jealousy of your mate, something of yourself. Joe the plumber. I'm going to tell you something. I don't believe that. Everybody wants to be close. Everybody wants to be close. Everybody wants to be Everybody wants to be close. Everybody wants to be close to their father. I wanted a father. I can't oh, be that much. I can't be right. that wrong. But let me ask you something. Right. I still don't understand right. one thing. I don't understand one thing. Go ahead. I still don't understand right. one thing. Right. All right. All right. I don't understand what one don't aspect understand? of this whole thing. I don't, this Geraldo yes. thing. Yes. I don't understand one aspect. The aspect I don't understand. I know Pat's caught up with the semantics of abandonment and all this stuff. I'm not even concerned about that. The one thing I don't understand in this whole relationship mm-hmm. is how come you're on your road to communication. You're sitting and going to dinner. You're going to lunch. You're on the phone. You're talking to one another. Everything's going along. Okay. There's a, a, there's a true relationship trying to be established. It's almost like you wanted to sabotage it because you knew going on Geraldo was going to make him nuts again and not telling him about it and discussing with it. Yeah. You knew. You kind of knew. Come on. You went over. And you knew that it would only be good. Territory that you'd been over. And you knew, and you kind of knew what Geraldo was after. You wanted your father exploding on the air. You wanted the compact Cooper. No, I wanted my father down there with me. I wanted him to come down to the show with me. Did I show up? Okay. Was I showed well, up? Well, you were there. Did I go? You were there. Did I turn it down? Okay. No. I went. Right. That tells you what a pretty right. good guy so, I am to defend my character, which this man's trying to say I have none. Because you know why? How can you know if you say you've never been around me? How can you be around somebody that when the other party don't want you around, and the other party accuses you of every goddamn mistake, that, of anything, that you're to blame? So you know what I did? I paid my dues. Right. And now I am a better man for it. Oh, yeah. That's right. my opinion. Right. Sleep at night. I'm happy he could sleep at night. I mean, you know what it was though? Like going on Geraldo. Going on Geraldo was like picking at a scab. You know what I mean? Necessarily. I wanted to wound. let people know that I was a product right. of a divorced family. All right. Okay. And I wanted to know my side of the deal. That's all. I wanted them to know my side of it. Well, you and know, I had a right to go on and view it. I had no idea Mike. what they were going to ask you me. You had the right. I had no idea Robin, I think it's over. I will never over. forgive his son. It is over. It's a shame because I think it could be salvaged. No, no. I think it could be salvaged. I'm not going to forgive or forgive. He don't forgive. He don't know how to forgive. He'll go. No, you should. You should have talked to your dad ahead of time about the whole thing, about what you were going to say. You should have opened up even at those dinners. If he had called you first and discussed it, he said what he had to say. But I got to get an argument from this girl. When I say, she said, you mean your son? I said, my son never told me nothing. She said, I can't believe that. I said, I swear to God, he didn't tell me nothing, that he played the, that he played your tape for her. I said, well, I didn't know. Then I said something. I gave her a copy of the tape after she spoke about her father. She said she didn't hear the tape from the house. She said to me, I, I sat down and heard the whole thing. Uh, I said, honey, I don't care that he played the demo. Uh, and and I was listen, supposed to I got a break for commercial, but what, oh, what do I do? Oh, what do we do during your commercial? You can't do nothing. Are you guys going to sit here during no, the commercial? Can I tell you something? Can what? I tell you something? I'm glad this happened. All right, should we stop? No, no, hold on. Right. I'm going back to my make-believe world because I hit his great world. I can't. I don't want to be a part of his world. I'm telling you right now, I don't want to be his father, and that's the way it's going to be. I'm glad he said on the air. Everybody heard that. He doesn't want to be his father. You are no longer his father. He's no longer my father. Pat Cooper is no longer Michael Capito's father. Absolutely. No, what should have happened was you guys. Now I tell you that's the truth, and you got it on tape. You know what's sad about this? Seriously, I'm really sad about this. It really yeah, should this be. This hurts me. It does because you see, it was so close. I almost had you guys back together. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's over. It's over. In a situation right. like this, Howard, though, you know, you can't ever really have. You know, these two. Pat, people I'll see you. A lot of emotions. I'm not getting water. Are you getting water? Oh, or Pat's getting water. But you know, you need counseling. You know, somebody. I need counseling. You're right. Should have been being counseled so they could understand. And, and like relieve some of their own feelings in a situation because nobody's it's a mess. giving anything. It's Michael, it's a, mess. it's a mess. It's a mess. Your it's father just war. left here completely war emotional. All right, we got to take a break. I'm oh. sorry. 
I gotta take a break. I'm, I'm, I just, I'm hurt. I mean, well, the thing about it is, I don't understand why I have to talk to him about something when every time he got on the air, on television, on Bob Grant, and spoke about me, he never came to me and said, "Son, I'm gonna speak about you." So why do I? Well, that's tell a him good point. I'm gonna speak about him. Well, that is this true. is what I want to know. I have to answer. All right, to let him. me let's why ask him that after the commercial. Him. I'm gonna ask I him that. I want that answered. Why I'm gonna do I ask him that. Let me ask him that. You don't ask him. I'll ask him. Thank you. All right, we'll be back right after this. He gads, I'm exhausted. <laughs> you know that. It's All right, now let's, let's make something I'm clear. I just want to I want to sum this up. Yeah, Number one, up Pat, to me, as far as I know, Pat did not abandon the family. I want to make that clear. Yeah. All right, I just want to say okay. that. And uh, the he's not going to get Father of the Year award. The last time I will come on your show and aggravate with my personal problems. And oh, no, it isn't. If I hurt you. I'm assigning you to an exclusive contract. <laughs> but All of your personal you. problems get worked out on this show. Okay, That's it. Mike, during the commercials, was saying to me yeah. that mm -hmm. the same way you don't ask permission to go on a show, mm -hmm. it's the same way Mike feels he doesn't have to ask permission. But this is a story that he feels happened to him, mm -hmm. where his father, for he family right. reasons... He has absolute 100%. Right. So what is he saying? He says, I have a right. Why is he a saying right, that I, I should check right. with him? And you have he a right. Check and too. discuss with no. him. So we're both wrong, and nobody can win. I said it to you 10 minutes ago. No, but he's saying, he's he's saying that there's nothing wrong with him going on a show and talking about his life as the son of Pat Cooper. No, that's okay. As long don't as say I abandoned. And don't say that... Now, he's saying, now, on Friday, let's watch the show. He's going to say that you, he, he said that... He turned his back. Okay. He says you turned your back. Now, that's the same as a band. Okay. That's the same as a band. Okay, right, yes right. it is. Okay. Now, your father has a beef with that because he's saying he no, would have been... First of all, I thought we had a nice thing going. Right. All of a sudden, I'm on the defensive here. I'm saying, wait a minute. I was nice enough. To, again, I paid for the phone call. I'm on in and out of the show for an hour. I don't expect this because I figured if he's going to let me have it, we're in the restaurant. I say, listen, you want to know something? He made I'm you embarrass in front of Geraldo's audience. And I say, okay, yeah. end it. It's over. That's it. But they let me go on the air, not knowing that he's going to, you know, I think he's He made you look bad on a rock. No, I'm just well, trying to your father's point I don't mind bad, but I mean, please say to me, you know something? I'm going to say on the ass, okay, listen, here's what we do. We say, we, we, we both have arguments here. We both disagree. We both agree on same thing. Let's end it there. So right. We try. And you guys, you, me you guys know. had the I argument. I was not prepared to Hold it a second. Say, you, guys, you guys had the argument on the air here. And what it almost seems like, you went on Geraldo. And did it again. And did the same exact thing, knowing that your father, you know, now is making an effort. And you are making an effort uh -huh. to come together. So he's saying, gee, out of the clear blue. Now, he had no idea from you that you were going to get on the air and say. I know he was here. Did I know he was here? Today? No, no. no. Did, but I'm did, saying, out of the clear did, blue. You told me, right. was he here? You want me to bring him in? Did I say, are you crazy? I, don't think, I right. said, bring him. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. In other words, he had no clue that you were going to get on the air on Geraldo and say. <clears throat> My father turned his back on us. I turned. I said the story. In other words, he thought that you guys had had that Haraldo argument and you yes. were moving beyond that. Yeah. Well, Har you know, Haraldo gives every person there a synopsis, and I had my uh, chance to say what happened in my last thirty years. So your father is saying, open. "What and your father then, is saying is, come if, on. but did you say? Want, I didn't say he didn't come on. Did you I didn't say he didn't come Why on. didn't the other ones? Come on? But when you well, said that your father turned his back, they were paternity suits. They were paternity suits. Your father was surprised because he felt that, hey, we've had that argument. We put that behind us. We're moving into a new phase of our relationship. Relationship. Yeah, did you say you were working on your relationship now that you'd gotten back together? Or that you and that your father things? took you to dinner and that things I were going well? I only had the questions that were directed to me. I mean, the whole hour See, wasn't yeah, given to me. Yeah, that's what hurt, Michael. Okay. Okay. That's what hurt your father. Now, I understand. I mean, but by the same time, but you have to realize. He had a chance to say that because he was also given the but platform wait a to speak. You know how wait guys in show business go on shows and they're phonies together and they, and they always say, like, yeah, I love him, he loves me, right. I love him, you know. I not know. that you should be a phony and, and trump up phony emotions, but at some point you say, okay, listen, I'm not going to screw this up. I got something good going with my father. We're really starting to have some kind of communication. Mm -hmm. Maybe for once I won't go on Geraldo. Or if I go on Geraldo, but I'm going to say, no I'm gonna say Geraldo, I want to make it clear that my father and I are now having a dialogue. We're going to dinner together. And he's starting to show me a side of him that says, hey, maybe it's just my mother and my father had a disagreement and the kids were caught in the middle. Unfortunately, what uh, th this happens is, is that you don't have a father and he doesn't have a son. And the thing is that yeah. it could be... It could be so good between the two of you. The other point is that he has to real Michael has to realize that on the strength of the trust he was developing for you, right. he said yes to the Geraldo show. Right. Uh -huh. they because said, he felt he could trust you. On, and and uh, you can be on too, Pat. Yes, Gary. We want you to be on because your son is on. And Pat said, okay. Right. Yes, Gary. No, the only thing I want to say is that the listeners are out of their minds and they're calling like crazy. They all have opinions and they're dying <laughs> to get through. All I want to say, and I want him to understand, right. he's got tremendous... Tremendous amount of rights. He's, I got anger, and I, I respect that. I truly do. Right. If I was a bad boy, if he respects it, then why does he say it's over? Why does he keep saying it's over?
case. Oh, because you, I can't, you, I can't you, text that. You were disrespectful to Geraldo, Ron Geraldo. I cannot. No, 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 no. That's okay. No, I, you I, can't, can't, I can't, I can't, can't let him understand. Power. I can't let him understand <laughs> that if I'm going to choose that way to go, that's my privilege. That's all. That's my privilege. I don't want to talk no more about this. That's my privilege. I think we did enough. I think you, you, your program did enough. I right, think you're not interested in having this on anymore. Hold on, hold on. If I was a gangster killer murderer, all right, I could say, okay. Right. I made a name for myself. I did the best I can. I produced something for myself and for my new family because that's the way my, my, my life w Went. was directed. Right. I didn't say, take it out of him. I, I get mad at him or hated him anyway. I said, I guess this is the way it's got to be because years ago when he was a child, and I understand that, he, you know, he hears this, he hears that, but I wasn't there even to defend myself, but that's okay. It's that's sad okay. that the kid's always the victim. But that's okay. Know. All right. right. But I tried. I you tried. And I said to you, it's very difficult, Howard, but I'm, if I can't be this kid's father, I'm going to be his best friend. Right. So I tried to say, okay, I was a gangster. I murdered nine people. I come out on parole 90 years Now ago. you're not interested in any of this. I want to. I was going to take it from April 1st on, you know what I think? Right. I say, but it can't. It can't. You can't have because it. I can't forget I, about the past. All right. All right. Hey, hey, let's assume him and I, we sit down, we talk about the family again. Right. He's still my son. I'm his father. He goes, yeah, that, blah, blah, blah. We eat. Then right. we talk about What's the difference? We hash things out. Right. But that's between but them you're having a dialogue. Right. All right, right, right. That's, that's very healthy. That's the, very, I think But he just finished healthy. telling you, he said, well, I'm sick and tired of hearing this. All right, but I wanted to defend myself to him, not that I have to say, well, she knows. Let me get an idea how bad this really is. Yeah, Who do you like more, really? Lola Falana or Michael? Oh, geez. I love Michael. That's Lola Falana. I love him. You love Michael more than Oh, you're still not in as bad as you could be. Okay. Okay. You're still not, you know, there's hope. I think there's hope. Oh, I love him. Are you kidding me? Compared to Lola Falana, he's a fan. Oh, I, 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 can I say something? Right. Oh. I give him a bonus. Right. <laughs> but now he is now he is no longer your son. Or you, I think you're loosening up here. I think you're who you want to be. You know, really? Let's try it one on, last. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Baby boy. The Lola first. Right. Oh, no. God, I think this is this is it's over. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. I, I, I'll tell you what. When I speak, All right, we'll have an audience vote. Well, when, when Let's speak, have an audience vote. What Pat should it'll do? It'll be like the love yeah. connection. Should they get back together? Should they get back together? Let's have the audience vote. Question of getting back together. Question of getting. You know. Hold it, Pat. Hold it. It's not up to you anymore. It's up to the audience. The audience. We're going to leave it to the audience. Should you get back together again? Yes, I think we should get back together. Really? Again. Yeah. You do. I'm speaking from experience. I mean, I grew up in in Elmhurst and Jackson Heights and Forest Hills. I'm calling from Philadelphia now. And, uh, I need a speech. Wait, I just what, want to vote. What Elmhurst and Jackson Heights got to do with it? Hello? What a bore that woman was. <laughs> Hello? Because she lived in the neighborhood. All right, so that's one road that you should get back together. Hello? This is Howard Stern? Yes. yes. Um, Howard, uh, tell them to get back together again. All right. It's another they, you see what too. I mean? Why is that, sir? Um, well, because I grew up in a household like that, and I think it's very important for a father and son to work things out. you, you got to go. keep trying, right? Absolutely. Pat feels it's impossible, though. Well, no, Pat, nothing's impossible. I just want to let it end to a point that the young man's got to understand what he what likes to hear what I say or not. I've got a right to defend a position that I believe I have a right to defend. I he don't have to. to I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. So what happens? He's got a right, I got a right, and the two rights ain't going to make it. Right. So what I'd say... Because every time you defend no. your positions, you end up breaking up the relationship. I think, I think right. a hiatus. Right. A hiatus. Right. I want to give up the bridge. Hiatus. hiatus. You're a hiatus. Right. All right. right. Hiatus. I want That's water okay. under the bridge. I want to be over with. Right. I don't hiatus. want to talk. Well, let hiatus. me say something. Let me say something. All I wanted to Because do. I, too, came from a sort of broken home. It's because Robin broke I broke it. No, but... Anyway, there was a period of time where my parents were separated. Yes. And my mother would come to me and complain about my father. Father. Right. And it, it just tore me up because that was my father she was talking right, about. Right, right. See? And finally I just said to her, look. Yeah. You have a problem with your husband. Right. Ah, that's not my husband. That's your husband. You don't talk to me about that. Right. All right? I don't want to hear you run down my right. father anymore. So that's what you have to How say. old were you? How old were you, Robin? 20. 20 years old? It's yeah. Okay. Well, I did that when I was 13. Yes, and but I didn't want to hear anything from any side. All you have to do is just say, we're not going to talk right. about that. That's right. not right. Right. on but the table. But he continues talking discussion. about what he's going because to do. Because you hold up your head. You got to talk about it. We're not discussing with that. But I'm keeps, sitting down talking to this man, saying, Mike, let's talk about you, this and that. If he says, I don't want to talk about it, and then the right that's okay. But well, that's that's family. Everybody right. talks about Everyone. family. What else are you going to talk about? What's the difference? Yes, so wait, yeah. I sit there we and talk, talk about, about the past. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more vote. One more vote. <laughs> yes? Hi. I want to talk to you uh, about the Pat situation. Yes, go ahead. Are you on the air? Yes. Okay. Look, Pat, you're the pitcher, okay? Give the kid a couple strikes. 
Ah. There you go. There's a kid. You're the mature adult. You've seen the world. You've been from the streets. Give him a couple pitches. There you go. They want you to get I think he wants you to hit him. <laughs> hit him, I don't care. <laughs> hit him, he don't care. Nail him. That's a, all right, very good, sir. Thank you. Ooh, this is so fun. This is like Sally good, Jesse good Raphael. Football oh, or baseball Ooh. analogy. Ooh, I'm digging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unanimous. Unanimous. Yeah. You guys want to be in here when I talk to the girls or, or what? You no, want, no, you want, I, I'm on a back way. This is your show. You talk right, now, let me get this straight. So now the relationship is on hiatus. So you're saying that you could I, get there. Right, right oh. now, right now, I got I, I, you know, a job. Let me tell you something. I got on top of this, I got to be funny at night. And yeah. on top of this, I got to go out in front of an audience. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Can I yeah. ask both of you a question? Yeah. Let's give it a hiatus of a month. No. Four weeks. No, no, a little bit more than that. Right. Six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks I have you back and I work this out. Okay. And if I can't work it out, we drop it all together. You got a deal. But you got to yeah. agree to come to the table. You got a deal. I said to you, you got a deal. Would you agree to that, Michael? Yes, I would. You would. All right. Thank in you six weeks, I will think about this and I will come up with the answer. All right. Okay. Six weeks during the rating sweep. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Well, it's hey, in a good time. You got to always uh, go for a good time. I would like to do it in the seven o'clock hour. Okay. Lead it into the eight thirty hour, <laughs> and then wrap it into the nine. All right. Would somebody put that down? Somebody to put that down. Seriously, I'm being serious now. Hey, can I tell you something? You said something. I come. I, I'm right there. I don't hide. I think anything. Michael likes this because he feels I make sense at least. Geraldo well, well, doesn't I try think to. Broke the me. ice, Howard. Geraldo is how, a dick. I'll tell you why Geraldo's a dick. He used you. And he didn't make anything but better. I, he had no idea, but he had no oh, idea. Oh, I how was dare. He had no he idea. Was just he really did. sensationalism. He didn't care about the lives no, he, he does care. Look at these he facts. Very nice you. Over there. Well, well, he really does. He treats me very nicely yeah. over there. Sirs, if he Pat really Cooper does. was my father, I'd spit in Geraldo's face. <laughs> P.S. Pat Cooper's son sounds like Neil Sedaka. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> Pat spit in the little bastard's face. That's what oh, I love. Oh, dear. <laughs> Pat, forget the past. Life is short. Hug your son right now. Tell him you love him. Don't put the sins of the past on his head. Deal with him on a here and now basis. A father needs a son. A son needs a father. There's no more special relationship in the world. We don't live in the past. We don't live in the future. We live now. Signed, Donahue. My oh, God. No. Look at that. The they right away. Get the best lesson you. Donahue. They learn from you. That's it. They learn from you. <laughs> the faxes are coming in, Robin. Like, you would not believe. Uh, right. I have a feeling in six weeks. Let this calm down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, let, me watch the the let me watch the Geraldo no, show. The Geraldo show. You watch it. Yeah. You take it. I will force myself to watch that garbage. All right. Only well, because my friends, and I consider you both friends because I... Uh, it's because, not the uh, end of the world, Howard. It's not the end of the world. I just turned around. I said the reason I called up. See, said, things improved here today, Robin. Absolutely. I had I an effect. I'm loosening up. I thank see you. That, I did, you know, Pat. Don't tell me no. He's way. Okay, thank you. He's laughing a little bit. Michael, you feel it was a positive other? thing? Yeah. Six yeah, weeks, I contact good. you guys. Yeah, we get back yeah. together? Yeah. Hope a couple of dates around that time. Just a word of advice. Okay. Where are you going to be tonight, Pat? In a mental institution. No, not no, really. Where are you going to be? No, I'm going to be at Grand Plus tonight. Will you do be doing a Mama's Moulin, y'all? No, I don't sing on the issue. You will not do any Mama's Moulin. <laughs> but I do talk about... Because Jackie's you know, doing the marijuana I, song. Whatever I talk about is all made up. I want people to know that. It's all, you know, it's all material. I don't think I'm talking about this man or talking about this mother. Right. I make up and my mother doesn't come from Italy. My mother doesn't turn statues upside down. I want people to know that what I'm doing is humor and what I've seen as I grew up about other different mothers because they think that I owe them money. Composite, composite. I didn't Say that they what I said meant I owe them money. Let him say what he they said. said. They no, said, said I owed them money because I mentioned their name. I said, no, I no, 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 no. I never that? said he owed me money, I number one. I, okay, okay. I didn't say you said Let me say how I, I feel about that because he always says oh, he's not talking about us. I know that he's not directly talking about me, maybe, or my sister or my I'm grandmother. I'm up. talking about a Italian family, right. the way it is, okay? Maybe a stereotype image, but the way it is. Make that 12 weeks. We'll do the reunion in 12 weeks, man. Maybe we need more. All I want to say is Christmas might next year. Here. I might be here. I'm speaking I, I see about. What you're, saying. you're saying that, and I'm he's saying, saying this. So the image, you're saying this and that. The image and that he portrays. Yes. A clean image a and a good image. image a good he image. It's the image. I don't agree uh, with. Unlike my image. Okay. But you don't That's have to agree because right. I'm not portraying you. I'm portraying something that I've seen. But and exactly. I don't betray my father. Exactly. I don't right. betray you. I don't betray you. That was Now I want a true hiatus. I'm gonna make a living. You buy what you gotta buy. I was telling you what to believe. I go out on the floor. Bill Cosby's got 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 the. 
Bill Cosby show and look at what the trouble he's having with his daughter. But well, we still watch the Bill Cosby show. Well, I mean, Jerry Lewis has troubles with his kids. How do we know? Tell, but we know. the telethon. Don't you take it personal. I ain't thinking right. about you. But we know I both sides of Cosby. Stage. But we know the both sides of Cosby. I want people to know the both sides of Pat Cooper. There's only one side of Pat Cooper. another side. Fair. I never got a voice. I never got a voice. Well, because you don't deserve a voice sometimes. All right, listen to me. This is getting worse than I thought. This is all right. I'm going to make rules. No, I'm making rules. Pat, you stay south of 57th Street, Mike. You stay north of 57th Street. Now, listen to me. Pat is also upset. There's a lot of issues going on, Robin. Robin, I didn't want to say this. Pat is upset. There's a lot of other issues going on here. Oh. Uh, that you don't even know about. Oh, yeah. He wants I'm to get the rest of the family now. When his, when, I'm going to say this, Pat, if you don't mind. I don't, don't want to be. Pat, he's going after my aunts now. I mean, I can't understand this. I, I don't want to stay hurt, this. Mike, and I got a right to defend but myself. Put I, didn't bring you on it. I didn't bring you I don't want to hear their crap. Pat. I don't want to hear your crap. Now, Pat, you know what happened. I get crap from both ends. I lose both ways. I get their crap, and I get his crap. So I can't win. So I'm put in the middle. I don't want to get my aunt's crap, and I don't want to get my father's crap. I want to be totally isolated from them. All right, then you're isolated. you early. Don't say me, don't say me in the same You're breath right, as them. I don't want to know from You'll them. Deal. With the, I will mention I don't you at all. You got a deal. Right, in other words, in other that's words, what no, I want to deal. Deal. Now, if we go out to dinner, it's see, dad and me. But wait a second. Oh, 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 Michael, you oh, 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 don't tell me what to talk about if I take anybody out to dinner. I said me to dinner. I, anybody. I said me to dinner. Anybody. I don't want to speak about my aunt. And I want to discuss something that maybe I think is important you should know. I got to tell you. Don't put me in the middle. Because at least I'll tell you something that you should know. That's not what you told me. That makes our relationship bad every time. Susie brings them. In other words, you got to. I, I think it better be eight no. weeks. But you, no, 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 no. Now, I want a true hiatus. I don't want to see you guys on Geraldo, Jesse, Raphael, Donahue. I want a six-week hiatus from all of this. See, Pat has this thing going on. His father died. The three in the obituary, they left Pat out. But not all three sisters left. It said. Out. It said that. Oh no! No, oh, one sorry. of them. It is. It's only one. One of them that left. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 okay. One of the sisters said that when Pat's father died, he left three daughters and didn't have a son. Yes, and. And Pat was the son. They left him out of the obituary. That's the issue. But it was too late. It was in the paper already. But she should have turned around and straightened it out. You All can't right, blame I, my Aunt Gracie for that. I blame her. You know why? Gracie for that. You know why I blame her? Because she's the oldest. She should have said, hey, wait a minute. But you can't I blame her. She had no I blame idea. her. Because she's a Jesus woman. She loves Jesus. She loves God. She loves Jesus. I see the oldest sister. Do me a favor, Grace. Right. Hey, get those two sisters exactly. and straighten this out. She don't want to know. It and was too late. It was already in the paper already. I understand. I understand. So. It's a whole other issue. All right. It's right. another right. issue. It is. It's really none of my business. Pat, you're going to take that issue up with them, right? All right. Pat, you're going to take that issue up with them. First of all, I didn't know my grandfather. I didn't even want to go to the funeral, number one. I had to go as respect. And my father wasn't close. With his father is, so his relationship with his father was also bad. Right. It's passed down. It's, it's like uh, you understand that, you Pat. Yeah, I have a good relationship with his cycle. father. I want to break the cycle. Okay? You understand that, Pat? Okay, okay. it's passed I'm down. It's like cancer. I'm not afraid. It really is. Told I'm wrong. Right. I'm not ashamed to be told I'm wrong. All right. Because if I'm wrong and learn something, I say okay. All right. I'm not perfect. Okay. So here's the deal. Right. We're gonna have a true six-week hiatus. Right. Everyone's gonna right. cool out. And nobody's gonna talk about this. For six weeks. You don't have a father. He don't have a son. Yeah. For six weeks. Father's Day special in June. In six weeks, whatever six weeks is, and we come back and we look at it fresh, and I can straighten this thing out. I you guarantee sure you, because I came very close today. Believe yeah. me, I did. Right. It was almost a hugging scene. <laughs> no, there wasn't. All right. All right. Well, when we come back, the girls will be in here. It'll be a whole different kind of thing. Uh, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. All right. I hope it works out. And Geraldo's a hump. Let me tell you why. Because uh, he said so. Okay. Now, there you go. <laughs> Bring in the girls. How did I do, Robin? Good. You did okay. You Thank did you. okay. Thank you. I mean, for me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very tough, tough situation. You guys go grab lunch. Huh. He just he left. He just left. The, he walked out. He's a gentleman. He's upset. He's upset. He's upset. Uh, I wouldn't. Well, have, if I was you, I wouldn't have done that on a roll. All upset. Between you and me, I wouldn't have done it. The man really wanted to reach out. I, I mean, give, he, I got to give my side of the story, Howard. I know. I no one knows what I went through. Okay. Nobody okay. really knows what I went through. I want people to know. He had what he had to say on Geraldo. No. He said what I had to say. Okay. I well, don't know if Geraldo's the place to do that if you're trying to make up. Yeah. You, well, you've done that already. Ice here. I you broke, broke the ice, ice here. here. That's true. Okay. But, but you and can't do figured, all of your communicating well, in front of a microphone. Right. Yeah, but we can't do it in a restaurant because uh, he's always upstages me and there I have nothing go. to say. Well, maybe well, that's true. I don't maybe you should have I felt that Robin. Howard was the media today. And I, felt I will handle this. I, felt right. I get through to Pat. Pat and I have a thing. Yes, I think he respects you. Pat listens to me. Michael Pat listens to me. I'm glad. I'm going to be doing some work behind the scenes that you don't even know about for the next six weeks. I'm like Kissinger. I'm telling you. When I walk to the conference this table, this is tough. Gary, you don't understand, so you might as well just forget about it. <laughs> what I do is six weeks will go by, and I will be in the process, negotiating You'll process. You'll work this out. And I will bring everyone to the table. There will be certain things already understood by the time I see. we come to the table. Okay. 
Mm. <laughs> just kissing myself. Too bad your father isn't like Gary's father. His father just sells ice cream. Well, and he stays at home. And stays at home. <laughs> we love each other like morons. <laughs> like only morons can. <laughs> All right, listen, it's 834. We love each other with ignorance. <laughs> with ignorance. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. I want to thank you very much. Michael, listen, give me a I, I, I want to thank you for one reason. I, I want to bring you guys together, and I'm... I, I know I can do it. He's a very difficult man. All right, listen, everybody just calm down, Robin. Yeah. I see you're a little upset, sir. I am. Michael, I know you're upset. Thanks. Well, well, get your, if, only, New York. if only in six weeks I get your sister and your mother here. Now, see, oh. then, oh. see then, then I can really be bring a them miracle home. worker. Yeah, then that would be something. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have a chance. I understand. <laughs> I don't think you have a chance. <laughs> you put my father in a cage. Really? Uh, yeah. It to, would be the steel cage. You have case. to put him in a cage. The steel cage. Oh God! Tell you, the 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 Nassau Coliseum, one a night. The gross would be at least five hundred thousand dollars. Oh my God! I'm getting sick. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Thank you, Michael Caputo. Thank you. All right. Who is this? Cash app, dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Uh huh? Venmo, at milk, crate, marauder. <laughs> you stupid bastard.